Hey guys, hold down a sec if you're there. I just have to go over here, change our tags. Um, I've spent, I don't know, I was doing something else, thankfully, while I was uh, listening to some craziness from Lana. I know, Sassy just loves to start that, and the minute I get, I get on, she hears me and she's like, ah, oh, there she But, um, <clears throat> Hold on, let me just go in here with this. I'm going to go let her out. Hang on. So one second, I'll be right back. Otherwise, she's she loves to do this the minute I get on. I'll be right there. Okay, sorry. Whoa. Okay, so um, why is that not going back on? Okay, so I was listening to this like absolutely crazy. I kept wanting to get my notebook and then I said no. They asked her about the 501. Why isn't it filed? Oh, it is filed. Well, where's your information on that? It'll be on the website. So what you have to do is go and pay for your membership and then you'll see it. Because it's not going to be on the first page is what it seems. It's going to be inside the website. So is the, but if you listen to her, if you wasted your time listening to her, and that's why I'm saying I was doing something else while I was, I was putting together these uh, flowers while I was listening to her because I just, I, I can't uh, take it. She laughs like a crazy person, and that's my opinion. She does laugh like a crazy person in my opinion. But it adds no credibility to what she's saying. She doesn't answer with facts. If she really had the filing for it, why doesn't she show it? Okay? And then when she answers about, uh, she says, oh, there's some, some channels are talking about that. Why don't I have a .org if I'm really a nonprofit? Why do I have a .com? And she lies flat out because she doesn't own the .org, first of all. She goes, I own a lot of different websites. She talks to people like they're morons, okay? To do a redirect on a website is simple, okay? Even when I was first starting 12 years ago, or what was it, 14 years ago, with my own blog, and I didn't know practically anything about web design, I could do a, um, a redirect for, a, for another web address, simple. She's saying to him, <clears throat> this guy that she's talking to, that it takes so long to get that done and it's a process and like she has to hire people to do it for her, okay? And it costs a lot of money because everything costs a lot of money according to her. And she wants you to know that what a nonprofit is means a nonprofit doesn't make any money. And she says, so you'll see that well, the money's going out because we have to hire people. And she makes this known. So if somebody has to sit, now she used to say $500 an hour to go over his uh, interview. Now she's got it up to $1,000 an hour. And she says they have loans and lines of credit and all of this stuff. So who's co-signing these loans? Because she's trying to say if she wasn't a real nonprofit, she wouldn't be able to secure these big loans that she supposedly has. This is, this is insane, what she's saying. And if Ronnie and Cindy have put up their house as collateral against big loans and lines of credit, boy, then these people are really clueless. Then they are so clueless, I can't even understand. Um, she goes, well, we have to pay people. They never flat out ask her, are you taking a salary? Because she keeps saying, 
I'm not doing this for money. If I wanted money, I would start a YouTube channel. I don't want to do this for money. I'm helping the family. But nobody comes out and asks her, are you taking a salary? Are you getting paid for any of this? And she just says, you'll see, you'll see that all the money goes out because we have to hire people. And if you read between the lines, she says, we have the best attorneys, the best, okay? So how did they secure these best attorneys? With these tremendous loans, with the lines of credit? How did they get these, these best attorneys out there in Colorado? But she can't say who they are, okay? You could go on the website and you can see their bios, but she won't tell you who they are, but they're the best. They're the dream team. He has the best. That's a lie. It's all lies because then later on in the conversation, the guy starts asking her, the guy interviewing her, and no offense, I, I don't know who this guy is, and I feel bad for this guy because I think his father died or something, and my condolences go out to him for that, but this guy doesn't have a clue himself about what's going on or the law or anything, and... Um, says like when do you think you need to start this process and she says well what what do you mean and she and she keeps i don't know what she's doing maybe she's texting with other people because every other question he asks her she doesn't hear it and then she goes i'm sorry what did you say and he has to repeat it again so he's like well what do you have to do about the you know when do you need to get this filed by and she says oh it's a very very long process it's a very long process and when the attorneys take it on, so she says something, I don't, I don't know her wording, but whatever it says, because I'm doing something else now, I'm not taking my notes in the notebook, it's all going here because I, I can't waste any more brain cells on this woman. Um, she makes it known that she doesn't have an attorney that's taking this case, and she says when, when they do. And she's worried far too much about things. If she had an attorney, she would have answers. She wouldn't have to worry about what she's worrying about. She says she works all day on this, okay? She didn't have time to talk to people. She works all day. Do you talk to Chris? Yeah, I do. No, I don't. Do you talk to Ronnie? I don't have to talk to Ronnie. It's any, I, I'm, because I work all day. I wish I had time to chat with them. But, you know, she's all over the place. This is the biggest scam out there, okay? Yes, the website's still going. She's telling people that you have to hire like big web designers to do a redirect and it costs a lot of money and that website costs so much money. Exactly what I think she's sending bills to them like crazy. And they're probably going to put their entire house on the line to get her lines of credit for like a business that doesn't even exist. Uh, it's just, I, I don't even know. But guess what? The kicker is that uh, the podcast, you know what the name of the podcast is going to be? And she, she gives this little tidbit out just to let you know and give you a little teaser because after um, Monday, meaning today, she's, she's not going to be anywhere talking about this because she can't. She can't anymore. And if you want to find out anything, you've got to get on that website. Well, she's a shrewd one, isn't she? Because people want to find out. So you, you know there'll be people that'll be like, oh, $10, I don't care. $10, I don't care. And hold on, let me let the dog in. Let's go. Come on. The name of the website, watch out, Seth, is uh, Jamie's Journal. And if that, if that's your little teaser. So does that mean Jamie's Journal? Is she going to read a journal that Jamie made? Is Jamie going to be doing the website? Nobody asks her. Nobody asks her. Um, when someone asked a question about Kelly, why she's distanced from Kelly now. Kelly? I was never best friends with Kelly. I met her for the first time out in uh, Denver, she said, and I, I don't care about that. I don't have time for idle chit chat. I'm doing all this work. So she still can't prove the nonprofit. She doesn't answer the questions when people ask, why isn't it registered? Why can't you find it? She just goes, it is. It is a real nonprofit. They wouldn't give me a line of credit and all these business loans if it wasn't a real nonprofit lie. Okay, you think just because you register a nonprofit, you're going to get lines of credit and business loans? And that's what she's talking about. And she's saying to everybody, if everybody would just give a little bit, if you would just go on there and just give a little bit, they would be able to get the truth out for you. And um, they would be able to get this 
through because he did not have effectual legal counsel, which is a lie. She starts uh, fingering um, the DA, Rourke, for stuff and making all these demands. Now, I have a letter to that I have that she apparently um, sent to the DA's office requesting all this stuff and here I'll just read this letter here this very professional letter so it went to the uh, deputy state uh, public defender she okay this was to the public defender hold on so she this is Chris's attorney that you know they're gonna be um, getting the funny thing is she said, you don't go to Denver to get a better call Saul type of attorney. And that told me a lot because I think she did get a, I think she did go to a better call Saul. I think she did go to a, sh a shady, shady guy that is going to bill and it's a scam. She laughs far too much. She talks about being professional. I've never seen any professional laugh like that. It sounds like she's, my, my opinion, like she's high on something, okay? Um, and Kim did the exact same thing with that laugh. It's either nervous laughter because they're, they can't believe it. Almost like a duper's delighters. I, I don't know. She, it's, it's just bizarre. Okay. But, um, this was dated February 1st and it says on behalf, and she, this is written for the Watts. Okay. On behalf of our son, Christopher Lee Watts, we are formally requesting your full cooperation and effective assistance in obtaining Christopher's complete file from case number 18CR2003. Um, our son, Christopher Lee Watts, will be exercising his constitutional rights and filing a post-conviction 35C motion to ensure that our son receives his complete file. We have completed a list accompanied with this cover letter. We are asking for all said items to be turned over by means of a hard official copy and on a digital USB thumb drive if possible. Okay, and then it says, um, I, Ronnie Watts, would like to pick up all said items on Thursday, February 18th, 2021 at 9 a.m. If you or your office need additional paperwork to process this request, it's imperative that you make those requests known so that we can properly arrange for all said materials to be expedited and over to your offices immediately. I would appreciate all correspondence with this request to happen through use of email only. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Why do you think that is? Because she's using her email, she doesn't want anything delivered to their home address. Okay. Um, Christopher is prepared to sign any and all documents that are needed for this to occur and therefore the necessary paperwork must be sent over to Dodge Correctional with a notary on site for all said paperwork to be signed and, and faxed over to your office. We are confident that none of this will be a problem and that you will take appropriate measures to see that our son's case files are turned over as requested. Again, please advise if there is any assistance on our end that is needed with, pa with paperwork. I will also be available to sign any said paperwork when I am in town on February, when I am town, not even in, I, I, when I, this is very professional, Lana, really good. When I am town on February 18th, 2021. In closing, our family has made several attempts to be included in our son's case from the very beginning with zero cooperation from the state of Colorado, mainly the public defender's office. We are making one final attempt for the office and the attorneys who were part of our son's legal team to do right by their client and the oath that they took and see to it that our son's complete file request is, handed, is handled with the utmost professionalism and sense of urgency these next three weeks okay and then she signs her own name as a victim's rights advocate okay she and and it's signed ronnie watts but he doesn't even sign his name 
It's just typed. There's no signature from him. And she is witnessing it as the victim's rights advocate. And what they want and what they ask for is, hang on, I'll tell you. The People versus Colorado, the People of Colorado versus Christopher Lee Watts gives the case number again, checklist. So she gives them a little checklist so they can make sure they get everything they want. Um, this includes all motions, responses, and orders that were filed with the courts pertaining to the case. You can get all that stuff right online, Lana. All investigative material and notes that were taken by all members of his defense team. Copies of all of the billable hours from August 16th to December 31st, 2018. I wonder why she wants that. Maybe so she could copy those invoices and, and put out the new billable hours so she can know what to bill for with the fake attorney or the in cahoots attorney. Hmm. Copies of all minute meeting notes for all appointments from anyone on the defense team who was part of was part of during August 16th through December 31st. This is all in-person meetings as well as phone calls and email correspondence. Five, copies of all email correspondence with the DA's office. Please print these straight from the actual emails as they will be time stamped and dated. A complete list of when items of discovery were turned over to the defense team Please have an itemized list with dates and times. Seven, all dates, times, and what is she looking at? Oh, excuse me. All dates, times, and persons present with said client. Meeting minute notes for each and every session. The complete unredacted discovery that Weld County produced and that would include all sealed warrants. Any and all data, digital forensic evidence from all phones, extra USB if needed, can be provided by us for this extra material. 10, if Chris needs to sign any said papers, oh my gosh, who puts that down, any said papers, or request to allow this to take place, those said documents, <laughs> need to be sent to Dodge Correctional where a notary is on site and can verify all documents with his signature. Okay, Lana. So she's on there saying, when they said about the website, then she says she has all these websites, right? And she, she goes, you know, so you don't know, I could, I own fightforafamily.com. Yeah, that, that's, that's there, but I could also own uh, fightforafamily.org, but you don't. Okay, and then she says, and then, you know, I had 35C, 35Chris.com, but I could also have 35Chris.org. No, you don't. And then she, then she starts saying, and then if I have this other case and it happens to be such and such a name that she can have the website, you know, there, but she's acting like this is such a huge process or that she has such a sophisticated website. And she says, you know, with a, with a limit of 10,000, there's all these checks that need to be made and we've got to go on all this stuff and there's third party websites that handle all this stuff and it's totally safe. It's like, it's like going on the Under Armour site. No, it's not. No, it's not. And she, again, she says, if just people give a little bit, you're helping the family, just give a little bit, help the family and you're going to help future families. Come on, people, please. There's going to be nothing on there. She's doing this by saying she's not going to be around. She's not going to give information out. But if you go on now, she is going to have all that information on the website. She's going to have nothing on the website because this is going nowhere. Okay. I, I just. Then the other, there's other rumors going around that, oh my gosh, Chris. Chris is being transferred. What's going on? Is he going to Alcatraz? He's not going to Alcatraz. He's not transferred. He's in Dodge. He was never found on the site over there where people were looking for him in the general population. He was never found there. Okay? He's never been listed on that. That Anybody that's following the case knows that he's never been listed there. 
okay? But if you go to do his commissary or you go to a third party site, he's, li he's listed there. I don't know why they're doing this. Yeah, she's trying to, she's trying to get money for him. Yeah, for this big fight so that he can, you know, get out and everything and everything. But I I'm telling you, please, it's all lies. She, if you can't listen to her and know that she's lying, and I don't know, I mean, why the other ones are lying and saying that he's been transferred and everybody's going to the races on that he's been transferred. He's not transferred. I, I don't even know why. They can't even say, well, where did you get this? Oh, uh, someone called me. That's a good one. I could have Scooter call me and say, I think Chris has been transferred. Guys, Chris has been transferred. Well, who told you? Someone called me. Someone called me and said it. He hasn't been transferred anywhere. I I just think, my gosh, it's like the biggest rumor mill about him and about Lana's website. And I think because Lana's not going to do something that there had to be some other content created. And so as a diversion, it was, you know, is he transferred? So we can have, you know, 10 people come here and discuss if Chris is is transferred so I mean but I don't know there's uh there's got a uh, you know I wonder how many they didn't ask her how, how many how many spots are still left on the website how many spots are still left she, she won't answer that Whose mother is broken? Oh, that's another thing she said. She said, oh, the Watts are the same as the Rusaks. They lost everything too. Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. They didn't lose their son. Their son is alive. Their son is alive and their son took the lives of their daughter-in-law, which they obviously didn't care about. They made no bones about that. Their unborn grandson, which they made no bones that they didn't care about him either and don't even consider him their grandson, and uh, their two granddaughters, which they, um, I don't know how anybody could think that they really care about them when they're traipsing over to Denver with the woman who uses her own children to make fun of the, of the family that's been murdered by their son. So anybody that is feeling sorry for them, um, do you know that? Do you know that he was traipsing over to Denver and Lana's Shazam? Do you, do, are you aware of that? And if you think it's the same situation, the Watts didn't lose a child. The Watts didn't bury their child. The Watts didn't even go to the funeral. Okay. They didn't even go to the funeral. So that's a slap in the face, Lana, to even say that it's any way near the, the same situation. But, oh my gosh, anybody going to that website or thinking you're going to find anything on that website and Jamie's freaking journal, you think Jamie's going to sit there and read her journal? It's probably going to be Lana reading a made up journal that doesn't even exist. So, um, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. But I don't know how anybody can believe Lana. Does anybody here believe Lana? Does anybody believe, if you put, if you believe Lana or anything like this, if you really think that this is a legit thing that she's doing, can you put up a B for that you believe her? Anybody, I don't, don't be, you know, go ahead. I, I just want to know, just go ahead. Put up a B if you believe Lana, that this is a real site, that it's a registered nonprofit, that it's all in the up and up. And she really has attorneys that are handling this. And it's all, it's all great. She didn't even know when the deadlines were. She didn't even know 
she kept saying, well, I think, well, probably 30 days. I guess the lawyer, she didn't know anything. She couldn't answer the real questions. Does anybody believe Lana? Does anyone believe this? Because I want to really see the people that do believe this. I would like to see the people that believe this. Kevin. If anyone believes this, really, I would like you to come up and tell me what does she say that makes you believe this? Okay, so no one here believes that. Well, that's good. Because I, I have no doubt. Okay, and the ones that of you that don't believe it, who would pay to go to her site to listen to her garbage because you think you're going to hear something? And don't, you know, don't think that people won't do this because people join Kim's Patreon and membership to hear Kim talk that didn't believe Kim, but yet still gave her money to hear her lies, that they knew were lies, but they had to. And there's something about curiosity that gets the better of some people and says, okay, well, you know what, $10, I'll do it for a month or whatever. I'll put my credit card in there and, it, and, and I'll go and see what it is. Who would consider doing that? Be honest, if you would consider doing that, even if you didn't agree with her, just to see what she had on there, because she's telling you Jamie's journal and that kind of crap, Put a why if you would go and pay some money and go and, and find out what she has. I'm just wondering because there are people that would do that. I, I mean, I don't know how you would do it. Like if you do it on Patreon, your, your information is secure because you're dealing through Patreon. And if you become a member of a channel, your information is secure because you're doing it through Google. But if you go on that website, they're getting all your information, just so you know that. They have your credit card information, your address, every single thing about you. It's not like she's telling you it's like going on Under Armour or Netflix, but it's not. Okay. You would do it? You put a yes? Cece, you would you would go in and then put your credit card information in her in her site, really, Cece? Oh boy. Carrie Severo, yes, people like to be Sam. Mary Tackett says no way, not interested. Hey, Janice Wolf. Oh, you wouldn't. Okay, good, Cece. So, yeah, I mean, it's please don't because it's all lies and, and everything will come out. She doesn't have a nonprofit. If she had a nonprofit, she would have given the number out that it was registered. It's not registered. She's lying. Then she says, oh, this is the greatest one. Now, see, I remember. I still, I'm, without my notebook, I can still remember this stupidity. She said, our business name is not fightforafamily.com. So that's so stupid anyway that they say that. It's Fight for a Family, Inc. Okay? That's what it is. <laughs> and then the stupid laugh. But she can't give a registration number for the nonprofit. She can't show a paper or any type of filing for the nonprofit. But if you go on the website, if you pay the money, it'll be there if you, if you pay the money. But when she said we weren't going to go call a better call, you know, go over there to get a better call Saul attorney, I believe, in my opinion, that's exactly what she has, is a better call Saul attorney that's in on this whole scam with them, and they're all going to bill this family and they're going to secure loans and lines of credit and Lana doesn't have anything to put up for collateral. What does she have to put up for collateral? Nothing. Nothing. Ronnie had to pay for her trip out there. 
okay? Yes, my puppy went outside. My puppy's fine, cast lady. Thanks for worrying about my puppy. It's fine. So what do you think? Who, who has collateral? The only people that have collateral is they have a, a house in, in North Carolina and they have a small amount of insurance money. And do you think she'll care? She won't give a damn because it'll look like she had no money. She'll be billing for stuff and, and splitting it or, to, or not even getting the people to do that. She figures they are so stupid. She figures everybody's so stupid. They don't even know that, you know, she's trying to sit there and say, who, who does any websites? Do you know how simple it is to get a redirect? Okay, like I said, I did that when I first started out with my blog didn't the redirect myself. It's a very simple process. What a redirect is, is you have like, let's say for mommyramblings.org that I have, let's say I had another website that I wanted to put, which I do have. I have one, I have, I have many websites. Okay. With my names, with my blogs, but let's just say I wanted to put the one with my name on it to redirect to my mommyramblings.org or my truecrimechat.org. I can easily do that myself without hiring anybody within about less than 10 minutes. It's a straightforward process. She's saying it takes so much time and she hasn't even that the one that she has the 35 Chris, she has, doesn't even have the redirect on it, but she's telling them it's so much money, so much money that, you know, so much money, time and expertise that's needed to be done to do that. And that she owns all these sites. And why isn't it a .org? Well, I own many sites. Well, what are they? Because you don't own the .org on fightforafamily.org, but she's saying she does. Thank you, Tammy D. Was that the memorial? What memorial star? I don't even know what you're talking about, the memorial stargazer's mom. The one that lives in Ohio? That's the Lana. Hi, Jessica Salas. I don't know. It's just, it's really disgusting. So did anyone catch when she mentioned the 50K specifically? Yeah, this took us way more than 50K and then laughed. Yeah, she laughs and she says, don't you remember when did she said this too? She said, do you know how quickly money goes when you think about 500 to to $1,000 and you think about those hours just of that one interview how many hours that is and and her her wheels were clicking because she's got to get this money billed out because the nonprofit doesn't make any money but she thinks people are stupid okay she thinks people are going to believe any kind of fake billing she does okay and all these experts I just, I just want to see the people that are signing up for this. And the Watts are not computer savvy people. They are not computer savvy people. And people like that, they have no idea when someone says, oh, here, I got the website to get this website and to secure this website, this cost $10,000. Someone that's not computer savvy and has no idea might say, is it $10,000? Yes, because we had to have, you know, the best security on it. And we had to have run all these checks. She's, we had to do this and we have to get it ready for 10,000 people. And it's $10,000. And in my opinion, people like that will just sign a check right over because it's $10,000. And they have no idea what anything costs. They don't know. So I guess whatever, I mean, even their daughter must not be too savvy. Even Kelly or anybody connected to them must not be too savvy. Because I, this one here is, in my opinion, running a real, real scam. It, yes, Suzanne, 
If you think it sounds pretty ridiculous, you're following along just fine. I don't know how anybody can listen to her. I, I really want to meet with the people that are listening to her and thinking it sounds legit. I want those people to email me and, and I want those people to talk to me, <laughs> tell me, no, I really want to know how they think it's legit. Right, he's going over to Alcatraz. Uh, he's going over to California. That, yeah, he, well, he's going up where, um, you know, he's going everywhere. He's, why don't he, well, he's going to be next to uh, Scott Peterson, even though Scott Peterson's on death row, right? But, yeah. Yeah, and then did anybody catch when she said uh, rich man's game? Did anybody catch that one when she was going through the websites and she said, Websites like, you know, fightforafamily.org or 35chris.org or richmansgame, richmansgame.com. And she has other websites and there, I believe they are gambling websites. Yeah, I, I've seen, um, I've, I've seen a lot of, uh, stuff there, uh, Ash. So why they think he's out in a bus somewhere, he's not. She's saying that he's fine with going back to Colorado because it's going to be different in Colorado this time. Is she nuts? She says that he had such a hard time in Colorado because of his legal team and his new legal team won't let it happen. His, what is his legal team going to sit in the cell with him and every time the other ones tell him to kill himself and that he should kill himself, the, the lawyer's going to scream out of the cell, stop saying that, stop saying that. She doesn't care because she doesn't give a damn about him. It's all, it's all a scam. It's like the greatest scam ever. And as far as I know, I don't think she even owns any property. So she can just get up and go with the money she fleeces from everyone and be gone. Because that, that uh, address leads to an apartment. Okay, the business address leads to a residential apartment where I believe she lives. She runs trivia contests. There's nothing holding that woman down. But she's saying he had ineffectual counsel, which he did not. He's not going to get anything out of that 35C. She knows it. She even said, people think O.J. Simpson, he got off, and they still think he's guilty. So it doesn't matter, because even if Chris gets off, people will still think he's guilty. And if he doesn't, people will think he's innocent. So what she's trying to say, and she said it's a rich man's game, and families like the Watts don't have money. So if everybody gives money, you can not only help Chris, but you can help all these other people because it's a rich man's game. Okay. So that's, I guess, where she probably trying to get another website, rich man's game. Oh, boy. For the other victims. And then they said, are you working with the Innocence Project? And she said... Yeah, no, yeah, no. They have their own attorneys. The Innocence Project, they have their own attorneys, yeah. And the Innocence Project takes on a case if they really think the person's innocent. And then she says something about motions that have to be filed, and she goes to Stephen Avery, and she says, do you know one of his motions that was filed was, you know, I don't know how many hundreds of pages, she says, so it's so much work, it's so much work. And it's billed at five hundred to a thousand dollars an hour. That adds up. But nobody asked her, "Are you taking a salary as the president? What are you doing? Are you going to have transparency on that?" And she'll probably say, "No, I'm not taking anything," because she's going to be taking off the invoices. 
she just so wants the family. She feels for the family. And if you believe that, why are the family using it? Because honestly, Eric, honestly, I don't think they want to hear the answers of the professionals that say he has no chance. I think they want to put their heads in the sand and listen to somebody like Lana that's going to say he's got a chance, that's all, you know, raring to go, and it's going to get their son exonerated or at least, you know, have somebody behind him to change the public's, you know, point of view. So it's, um, it's sickening. It's really sickening to listen to her, to listen to her laughing like that. She's not a professional. She doesn't even act like a professional. She wants to be a professional. She's not. She has no training. She has no legal training. She's not even a paralegal. She doesn't know anything about the law. She can't even write a letter. She doesn't know how to proofread. So, I don't know. If it, I just want to find someone that would say, no, I think she's... I think she's for real. I think that this is for real. I don't think this is a scam. Because I just want, I just want to, really, I want to hear what the person, how the person can think it's not. And how anybody can't see through this. And I mean, how even Jamie, are, are you serious? You can't, you're not going to see through the invoices she's going to give them? And your parents are going to put their house down for collateral, for business loans for her? Your house will be next on there when your parents start to lose theirs or they'll move in with you. It's ridiculous. How would, how would they know? Did one of them go in there? See, if somebody, you can't see how many members from what I've heard. You cannot see how many members. Just like. I don't know. The whole thing is ridiculous. They're delusional, Ash, and they're. I don't think they're, they are not, I know they're not tech savvy. I know they're not. So they have no idea. They probably don't even know someone can go on something like, you know, Word and create fake invoices and all of this stuff and change invoices and be in cahoots with attorneys out there and all of that stuff. He's got the best lawyers available. That's what she said. The best lawyers available. Really? Well, what are their names, this dream team? But then later on she says, when the attorneys decide to do something or when the attorney, she, just listen. I mean, I was doing some other crafts while I was putting some flowers together that I have for a DIY. I was listening to her and it was ridiculous. But nobody ever asks her the tough questions. And when they do, she just laughs them off and then they don't go back to it. So that's, that's that about that. That's all there is to say about that. I, I just don't know why Anybody believes that. Because she's not making money, Allison, to help him. She's making out like a bandit no matter what happens to him, is what I feel. It's my, my opinion. No matter what happens, she's going to make out. No, she doesn't have a channel, Shasha. And supposedly, supposedly, she had to say goodbye to her Facebook page. She had to say goodbye to YouTube because she's now working with the attorneys and she's no longer allowed to speak except on the website. And I think that's all a tactic too 
because if you want to hear Lana speak, you've got to join the website. That's what I feel, Jessica. I mean, how, how could it be anything else? But it's an illusion. It goes to CW's defense. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but... Uh, so crazy. But anyway, I'm going to put the numbers in there. That, this is like crazy if you want to say anything about it or whatever but I, I'm just glad nobody believes this crap because it's crap along with along with Chris moving Chris is still in Dodge not going anywhere Okay, I'm putting the number in. And if you're not in, if, if you've never called in before and you're not in Slack, you can email me and I'll send you the number if you want to call in. And if you're, if you're in the recipes, um, I did post ingredients of like something to do that we're doing Sunday. And by tomorrow, because I have to get on a call with our special guest and someone else because we're, we're doing the tutorial together. Um, hopefully I've got to find out if they can both make the call at the same time because I think we're going to get on the call at a certain time, which I asked one of you if you can make that time so you have to let me know so I can let the other one know. I know this sounds a heck of a mysterious thing. But the ingredients list is in there. Okay. All right. Now I'm trying to put the number in there. And it's going to take place on Sunday. And it'll take place during the day. It's not going to be late at night or anything like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe 3, 2, 3 o'clock. I don't know. Let's just see. I have to get on that call tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll have more information on that. I don't even know where I where did I just put the number. Okay. Okay, so the number is in. And delete some of these old numbers in here because it's I mean that's why people are getting um, messed up All right, let me go back. To, let me just check the email in case anybody emailed for the number.
hold on a second. I'm just gonna do. everybody. I've been thinking about Scooter all day. Have you talked to her about her taxes? Oh she gosh. Her? Here she is. Oh. Here she is. I have talked to her, but I, um, I forgot about the taxes. Hey. Oh, okay. I've got to turn this down. Sorry. Um, Scooter, are you there? Oh gosh. Here she is. Oh, what? mine's down now. What? What? How are you doing? What's she yelling already? She's already yelling. <laughs> I know. Oh my know. gosh. <laughs> She's so I have to turn that down. I'm sorry. What now? How'd it go? There, yeah. There's nobody there. What do you mean there's nobody there? Because of the ickies. You have to drop everything in a drop box. So you didn't find out anything? No. Oh, oh my gosh. We will when they start to work on them and everything, you know. You couldn't call Did anybody? You couldn't call your town or wherever you owe the, ta the state where you owe your taxes? There's no number there to call. What about your bank? Could you call them to see if you made the payments? No. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nope. Grab something. I'm just getting. We'll something. find. You know, we'll find out. When, uh, we didn't even take him in. We were going to. Uh, Isaiah went ahead and took his in, and we were going to later. And then he came back and he said, "Nope, nobody's even there now. We have it all closed. You put everything in a drop box." Um, and see, normally she has like, gosh, 20 people working in there. We've known these people for years. You know, their personal friends. So, I'm, we'll find out, you know, we either paid them or we didn't. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Hi, Muka. Shay Shay, Daniel C. Beautiful, Julie W, W, D. Kevin, Vero. Jeanette, Ari A, AJ Vintage. Lexi, can you turn that down, please? Debbie L, QB, Ash Zeno. Hi, Alma. Mama Boog. QB, thank you, QB. I either paid him or I didn't. I'm trying not to think about it right at the moment. <laughs> it, it is what it is, right? Sean Sneed, Kim D, Jeffrey Taylor, Deborah Vancouver again, Sharon Martin. Hi, hey, Sharon. Pam W. Pam, you. 24 Every stuffed shells. What, Carolyn? Oh, that's nice, Pam W. It'll probably inspire you more on Sunday. Hi, Mary Ann Front. Hi, Trish. Fronten. Trish Diggins. Vero. Hi, Mary Ann, Jeanette. Bobby, Vero. A special. Kevin Leonard, yes. Deborah. Sunday. And what are, are you doing are different you? dishes? Mm hmm. We're going to do, I think, meatballs and tomato sauce. Ooh. Nice. I'll know more tomorrow. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I ordered the new sauce too. Are we just going to get? I think it's going to be here tomorrow. Goodness. Is tomorrow the eighth? What's today tomorrow? Ninth. Today's the. Now it's the ninth Tuesday, technically. 
Well, then it's going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. How are you to create emailed you so she can be added to Slack, Carolyn? Who did? Shelly creates. Oh, yeah. That the, There's a committee that takes care of that, Shelly. But I think, did you give me, I think I asked you for something the other day, right? Oh. Hi, Eric Evans. I'll give Loretta. it to the Loretta. The ones handling that, but I need that other information. I don't know because I haven't been in my email, but I'll forward it along if it's there. Raina P and Loretta Dam Dameron. Uh, Davida, what did you do today, mm. my dear? I started decorating. Um, I wasn't going to, actually. I was going to film a DIY, but I went downstairs and started putzing around, and before I knew it, I was <laughs> really decorating and putting stuff, Valentine stuff away. Oh, boy. So that's what I did. You really like doing that, don't you? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, well, know, yeah, the older I get, the longer it takes. I'm I find loving that. It. I'm loving it. Hopefully I'll get your Betty in the mail today, tomorrow. Yeah. The Valentine's oh, Day card. Betty, yeah. I'll have to have her everywhere. Yes. Thank you. Charlie Brown stuff, Snoopy, whatever they are, mail them at the same time and then get that Maggie, the squirrel out to, I believe it's Jen Doe. She sent me. Her address. Put a mail stuff out. That's too. sweet. What did you guys no. do today? You Boy, that thing with her is crazy. What? <laughs> What'd Second you say? mortgage, Elmer. <laughs> what did you say is crazy? What's crazy, Scooter? Oh, Elma says, Scooter, does Dave know about the second mortgage? I oh. for the to pay the taxes from, to the IRS, Indiana. Yes, he knows. Did he go back home yet? <laughs> Did he leave? <laughs> Did he leave? No, he's here. Okay. He's here at home. Okay. A little on edge. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Mick Jagger. <laughs> I don't know why you're still on edge. <laughs> well, a lot going on. Come on. Stop being so on edge. <laughs> I'm not on edge. Okay. I, um, did, Davida, did you see my did you see my hold, Davida? Please. I was cracking up at what Lisa sent you. Did you see oh. it, Scooter? She sent me groceries. No, what she <laughs> She sent me groceries. And she did no need to send me olive oil. Oh, it was hysterical. It was ridiculous. I was laughing. She what, she sent you groceries? She was ridiculous. I saw all those adorable bunnies. Yeah, she was yes. Yeah, those are cute. She, yeah. I love those Captain bunnies. I mean, what kind of Italian doesn't have olive oil? She must think I'm not a real Italian. <laughs> What all did she send you? She sent me a can of olives, a bottle of olive oil, a bottle of cooking wine. She sent me um, a bottle of capers. She sent me peppers, onions, celery. and celery. <laughs> and what else what was it? Was there Tomato else? paste. Tomato paste. She sent all these in a box? Yes. <laughs> yes. You gotta but love you've it. already made all that, right? You go, well, and now I have idea. another eggplant. I'm going to make it tomorrow. you got to love a friend like Neck Brace Karen. <laughs> <laughs> she sends groceries. Oh, Can't believe funny. it. Can't believe it. She got to love her. Got to love her. Yeah, that's amazing. She's funny. She is amazing. <laughs> I like that shelf you got too. My gosh. Yeah, that was that really is nice. Something. Yep, that's really nice. Huge. It's really nice. It's nice too? for the cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it would. Because it has wheels, so it can be against the wall, and you can pull it out and do your cricket stuff and put it back. You should see it, Scooter. It's huge. 
Nice. All I saw were a bunch of bunnies and they were adorable. I guess she's, I guess. Bunnies and for what? I guess she, Scooter doesn't really watch the videos, does she? <laughs> well, she was probably. She probably saw the thumbnail. Oh, it's a bunch of bunnies. I don't know where she got them no. or why. I'm not, I'm done with that. I'm watching drama over no. here. Yeah, sure, Scooter. She's no, talking the day. hi to everybody in the chat. I was talking in there. Did you see? Um, but I didn't. Where'd you get the bunnies? I didn't understand that. The Dollar Tree. Why did you get so many? She had to order them. Because I had to order them shipped to the store. Yeah, but still, why did you buy that many? Because you have to order a certain amount to ship them to the store. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So how many did you really want? <laughs> no, I, I like having the 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it depends what I'm going to do with them. Well, they do multiply. I might, I might, I, I think it would be cute. I think it would be cute to put them on everybody's, uh, place setting and, and put their name on it somehow, either with the cricket or something or holding a sign with the person's name. That would be cute. Right. Yeah. Is that sassy or Desi staring at you? That is uh, sassy. I love it. She just, <laughs> she's laying <laughs> down. She to... She's laying down. Oh, she's laying. Well, still she's staring at you, isn't she? Yeah, she's staring oh, she's... at you probably on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like what the freak <laughs> she's cute <laughs> she looks like a little dust mop there she is like it believe me she is a dust mop she needs a haircut so bad <laughs> sassy sassy come here girl come here baby Sassy, come here. Want a treat? Oh, she's so mean. It's <laughs> not cute. so mean. <laughs> there she goes. How adorable. Well, hi, baby. What you doing? Oh, she's over there. I should look at something. That was so cute. <laughs> hi, Jen H. Hi, Jen H. And this is Mick Jagger. Casey Smith. Where's the um where's the trivia game? Did you want me to get it? I would love for you to get it. Okay. She's not alive, Swiffer. The Flintstones have things. My like. diamond painting. Look, I'm getting quite a ways on her. She's so cute. Oh, I didn't see that one. Doesn't it remind you of something? The big eyes? Yep. Yep. AJ. AJ That's Vintage really never showed us the stuff they had. Danielle, did you get your uh, dishwasher? Oh, yeah. Care? What happened to your dishwasher? Did it stop working? Yeah. yeah. Weren't you here last night? Yeah. No, you never came last night. I did come. She did. Remember? No. Okay, fine. I didn't. Well, maybe it was the <laughs> maybe. Wait, I don't remember last night. I'm really trying to remember. When I had been sleeping and I. Oh, that's her. right, right, right. You were sleeping. Yeah, you came late, <laughs> really, really late, and all disheveled. Yes. Yes. Okay. I remember she got mad because we didn't tell her hair was flipping on the side. Right. And she was, she was so pissed. <laughs> oh, coming Wednesday, she said. What is? Oh, good. What's coming Wednesday? Her, her dishwasher. Oh, they're coming Wednesday. Yeah, Debbie D, I'm starting to go fast on this one. About time, huh? Finally getting the hang of it. That was her cranky taxes. That's right, because Danielle was up here. Remember, and, she was upset because that's when she first realized. Right, and you you were up here, Davida, with me and Danielle, right? Yep. And then Scooter oh, came you late. you guys want the family feud. Yep. 
whatever, how are we going to, the last time we played the family feud, we played it in families, remember? We really played it with five people, remember? Remember oh. the time we played the family feud? Yes. You don't, do you so remember that? But we could play it like, I don't know, like that. Sharon got really into it the last time we played the family feud. But she never, she never would remember what fam, she never remember what family she was on. Remember, and she was always rooting for the other family. And you're like, no, Sharon, that's not your family. Oh, okay, uh -huh. yeah, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, or, you know, yes, yes, do... pass, pass, Sharon, that's not your family. <laughs> we can do oh, trivia okay. like you wanted, or we can do more of the Wheel of Fortune. Ask the chat, what do you want? Family Feud or Wheel of Fortune? FF or a WF? Or trivia. Or trivia. That's Sharon's going, oh my gosh. WF, FF, or T? Family Feud, Wheel of Fortune, or trivia. Sharon, Jeopardy. Well, all I have is that Super Jeopardy now, remember? Or whatever it was. It's still there. Double Jeopardy or whatever. You have to have a partner for that. Trivia is winning it so far. Trivia. Hi, Mocha. Hi, Kim Chihuahuas. Mary Taffy, Casey Smith, Jeffrey. Lori, Ari, Sharon, Mocha, Ruby, Kevin Leonard. Yeah, trivia. You think trivia is getting it so trivia's far? Trivia is winning, yeah. Yep. Trivia is okay. winning. Hi, Linda. Nightbot. What did you do today, Carolyn? Oh, I watered all my plants. I, what did I say? I did, I did that haul. I did the true crime story. I, what else did I do? There's something else I did. Oh, I did, I, I worked on my uh, flowers that are for the DIY that hopefully I'll get done tomorrow. Okay. I um, did that while I was listening to that other thing. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, I had a lot of phone calls today and what else did I, do? I cleaned up in the kitchen I, you know did all the, all the regular kitchen things and my son came over worked out so talked to him he brought oh, pizza good. um he brought pizza mm -hmm. yeah he does brought, he charge you for that no <laughs> no <laughs> um does he ever bring different kinds or does he know what you guys like or he'll bring whatever we yeah he knows what we like but he'll bring whatever we want my daughter's up he'll you know whatever she'll they'll call it parmesan whatever we want well, my daughter, my daughter my, no my daughter outside. orders a lot of food because oh listen i gotta tell you speaking to my daughter now you don't know my daughter like she goes like this I want like a veal parm dinner and then bring a pizza and then bring this and bring that and bring a fried calamari because she wants everything because she doesn't, uh, you know, she's not up here much. So she orders a big order. Okay, but, but listen, I said to my daughter, did you ever hear of this sauce? You know what my daughter said? Yeah, yes. I've heard of it. It's no great really? shakes. Sh listen, it's no great shakes. Oh, so come on. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. So I said, oh, come on now. What do you mean it's no great shakes? I said, that's not the sauce that you were telling me about in Trader Joe's. She said, no, I, that, that was um, something about something about meatball or something. I, I don't know what she said. Then she said, no, I've tried that sauce. I'm not impressed. <laughs> she goes, you, you won't be impressed either. I said, no, I just read all these reviews. Wait, wait. I said, I've read all these reviews, and she goes, I'm not impressed. She goes, I'm Italian. I'm not impressed with that. I said, well, <laughs> there's people there that are Italian, too, like Sandy, who makes a really good sauce, who said that sauce is just like hers. And she goes, go ahead, try it. 
So she said, go ahead, try it. I was not impressed. I could, I, I, I won't buy it again. That's what she said. Okay. So she's either, I don't know, maybe I, I have no idea. I said, there wasn't one person that, that had that type of an attitude. Even somebody I read, somebody sent me a thing about a blogger and they said that the blogger was saying, oh, you don't need to buy that sauce. It's so expensive. And there's other alternatives, get Barilla, get Classico. And then they tried it and they said they would never go back to anything else. And she goes, I don't know. You try it. <laughs> now I really can't wait to know what you think. That's exactly what she said to me. Like, I don't know. She's Italian. She goes, I'm Italian, mom. Didn't impress me. <laughs> That's cute. Hi, Judy with a Y. Judy with a Y. Here's Judy with if a I said hi, Judy, we're not Casey. Hi, Judy. Okay, we're going to go in order tonight. Every category, okay? okay. So we are going to start with, and remember, some of these are hard. Hard to get them out of the box, too. Okay, first category is TV and film. Oh, look at Kubi said. Huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. <laughs> My tie dye t shirt, CC Love. Yeah, old, she, yeah like she can go to food. any restaurant there is. When she comes up here, I'll but there's certain things she likes from. <clears throat> This restaurant that she orders, but that, you know, like she tries to have everything all at once. She just, my daughter's passionate about food, but she just, I don't know what the sauce thing. Yeah, I want to be able to go there sometime whenever I come up there to live with you. To live with me. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <laughs> you go we'll there, there a lot, right? We'll what? hang out there a lot. We can go there for dinner. You can start I go there for dinner. Wow. Well, yeah. Maybe. No. I can buy Scooter. Scooter. I could see I can, Scooter. I could see Scooter working there. I could I see could Scooter doing it. people, be a hostess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Do you, do, you, do you know Mike's mom? She's a very, she's a very big YouTube star. Yeah. She's, I'm, I'm here now because of that. I wanted to work here for the summer. <laughs> I, I, could just, right. I could just see you, Scooter. Oh my God! And everybody, Michael, be like, she's pretty good, but wow, <laughs> she won't stop with that the YouTube star crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your family would be getting all mad. Will you tell her to stop that? <laughs> and heaven forbid she gets a glass of wine in her and starts talking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You have troll dolls? Oh, you have a troll doll. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> See, I've read so many different ones. Of okay, these. look, Sharon's laying down the law. She said, enough chit-chat. Look at that. <laughs> okay, Sharon. She said, Sorry. get that first question out now. Okay. Um, TV and... No, wait. I said rock and pop. Sorry. Rock and pop. Oh, rock and pop. Yeah, rock and pop. I don't because know, Danielle. It's going to come. I, I, I'm still got my heart set on it because I spoke to Sandy again today, and she told me I will never go back to any jar sauce ever again after I try this. So maybe my daughter just had a bad day, or maybe her taste buds weren't good that day. That's what I'm going to say. She could have been in a bad mood. She could have been just not feeling good right she could have been getting cold and didn't have good taste but you know it could have been a lot of things yeah. i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. chalk it up to that could have gotten a fight with the boyfriend because she was she ruined my whole thing i'm like i just ordered it and she's like you did she goes you're not gonna like it <laughs> i said well that's nice i said which one did you, you have tomato it. or basil or marinara and she goes i don't know probably marinara but it wasn't any it wasn't wasn't any great shakes <laughs> Okay, rock and pop. Sorry, first. Okay, rock and pop. <laughs> to work here uh, to pay off my taxes. What? You said you have to work at the restaurant to pay off your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Look what she says. 
kids will be saying, look, ever seen one of these? It's an ugly doll. <laughs> with Mary Margo if you want to hold her. I'll have a whole area set up in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Michael will be like, you can go home early. Go up to the lake. Hang out with my mom. Don't worry about it. We'll pay you for the whole time. Don't worry. Just go ahead. She'll be like, I don't know why. They just said that I should come up, up here with you. <laughs> go, Mom, she's trying to do trivia with the Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Here is a question, rock and pop, so Sharon won't be really mad at me. Okay, what is Ozzy Osbourne's real first name? I have no idea. I don't know. Jen H. Uh, LOL, I did my taxes today. We did our taxes like last week or the week before. Thank you. Jimmy does them. Whenever we know we're getting money back, we always do it, you know, early. You, we we you usually do get money back. I'll wait to the end. Okay, let's see. Anybody got it yet? Nope, not his first name. That's not his first name. Somebody said John Michael. It is John. It oh, is? Really? really? Yep. John. yep. Wow. Wow. That's weird. I never knew that either. I didn't know that. You go, Jeffrey and Kuby. You go, girl. I never knew that. I didn't know it either. Now we know. Yeah. Hi, Nana T. Okay, I don't know if I said this one before, but I'm going to say it again. Yeah, John is, is was the answer. Okay, this one is TV and film. Uh, how many? What? How many of the seven dwarfs' names are grammatically adjectives? Oh, they're saying buffering? No. No, I don't see a buff oh, buffering. Oh, it must have, and then no. be a I don't see a buffering. We're not yeah, buffering. I think it's fine. I think it's, it's fine. Now. I think I did do this one before, now I'm remembering, but maybe different people are here. I don't remember. I can't remember the seventh one. I'm missing it. I can't either. Well, I'll say all their names. I'm what doing that. Doing? I don't remember. Sharon's got it again. She does? Yep, six of them. Well, what, it's sleepy, dopey, sneezy, sneezy. bashful? It says Doc. Doc, Doc. alone is a noun. Doc, Doc. Doc. Right. Forgot about Doc, but I still don't know the other one. <clears throat> wow, a lot of you guys got it right. I knew it was a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. And Doc. Uh, next category is fun and, fun and games. Kim D, I think you're behind in the chat. Okay, um, fun and games. A lot of these are hard. hard. You guys want a hard one or an easy one? Well, let's try a hard one. Let's see how hard it is. Okay. Which boxing world champion was nicknamed the Easton Assassin? Well, that's hard on a number of things because it's it's boxing, so how you you know? Yeah, but some say hard, some say easy. Surprise! I'm saying hard. 
I'll read it again. Which boxing world champion was nicknamed the Eastern Assassin? Oh, wow. What? Nanatee. 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 Who got it? Larry Holmes. Uh, Lee. Uh, Cuby got it first. That I see. It could be somebody else, but yeah, Paula got it. A bunch of people got. You know, a couple at least. Yeah. Debbie, you kind of had it, Debbie Park, and you said Larry, but we would have needed, you know, the real, the last name. Okay, now we're into people and places. Okay, which is the smallest U.S. state by area? Oh, I think, yeah, this is, uh, that's easy, right? You think it is? Mm-hmm, I do. Yes, ma'am. Rhode Island is correct. Yep. That is correct. Rhode Island. A lot of people got that one. Okay, science and nature. Science and nature, let's go. Okay. Science and nature. What fruit comes in beefsteak, plum, and cherry varieties? Oh, I know that's so easy. That is so easy. That is too easy, Scooter. Are we not supposed to say anything? Well, it's so easy. Yeah. So freaking easy, Scooter. Well, I thought I'd give an easy one. Yep, yep. Hi, Tammy McD. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. <coughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. Now, past and present. It's the sixth category. Um, past and present. Okay. And what year was the first iPhone released? Oh, iPhone? Wow. Okay. Yep. Gosh, I don't Oh, boy. We don't even get a, like, a, uh, nothing about multiple choice or anything, right? Nope. It's trivia. They don't get multiple choice. No, we had multiple anymore. choice last night in the trivia. Did you? Yep. <clears throat> the game doesn't. That's correct. 2000. That is correct. Quite a few got 2007. That was the first iPhone? Yeah, really. Wow. Yeah, that's surprising, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're back to rock and pop. Uh, <coughs> okay, um, one dance, quote unquote, if that's, in, you know, one dance is a 2016 single by which Canadian rapper? Oh boy, one dance. That's... I thought it was rock and pop. Now it's rap. Well, in the category of that, yeah. Okay. Hey, I didn't make the game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Somebody wow, got it? A lot of people know that. But I hope they're not using Google, because that would be cheating. 
Drake is the answer. I don't even know who that is. I know his name, but I don't know a thing he does. Oh. Was that 90s music? I don't even know. No, 2016. It is, I don't know anything. 2016. Oh, see, I really wouldn't know. Oh. You know how I said stuff happens in threes, right? Like, yep. like, but like when you hear about something, not even something bad happening, but like, I remember last year we were talking about a water buffalo and then Luke asked me about a water buffalo. Then I saw water buffalo ears at the store. Then water buffalo came up again. Well, you know that, uh, that, uh, that lady that just lost her husband who Daddy. got all the bread, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So I told, I saw it because I haven't been showed up in my feed. I, um, I guess I'm subscribed, but I haven't checked her out in years and years. Then I mentioned it to Scooter that you said something about it last night and no yep. joke. Sandy sends me something about sauce and whose channel did you think it was? Her channel. The Navy Homesteader. Yes, and she had no idea about the the, um, the accident or anything. So it wasn't like she's been watching this. Like, like I'm, I'm, I told her she was surprised. She said, oh, that my gosh. That is so strange, isn't it? Very strange, isn't it? Yeah. How that kind of stuff happens like that. I always, I'm always amazed at that. It's like something happens, you don't hear about somebody, and then you just keep hearing about it like repeatedly. Yes. It could yes. be anything. Like I said, it could be the word water buffalo or something that's just strange. And then suddenly everybody's talking about water buffalo. It's Did just, Sandy used to watch her? I, I don't, you know, I don't even know because I think could maybe it could be something like it happened to you. It just showed up in your feed because I had watched yeah, it, it or weird. something. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Recommendation. But it's Remember weird. I told you it kept popping up in mine but i didn't know what it was and she gave I me something about answer. sauce without even like it was a it was like a video from i don't know a year or so ago it's like she didn't you know it's just so weird can you believe how much they've gotten already on that gofundme i didn't even check out the gofundme was it i, I didn't even know was, they had one until you mentioned it yeah it was, well i haven't seen it since i just thought it 414 000 wow. something Deborah Van Cooverden said, if I was cheating, I would get at least one right. <laughs> if I was using Google. <laughs> Ash Zeno says, I'm answering too fast to cheat. What are you doing, Carolyn? What? Tammy, sent you, oh. Tammy sent you a super chat. Thank you, Carolyn. Sorry I missed Lisa D in her happy mail. Oh, you can rewatch it. I think Lisa D missed it too, so don't feel bad. Thank you, Tammy. You're so sweet. Okay, now we're back Tammy. TV and film. Um, what was character Hannibal Smith's often spoken line in the TV series The A Team? Who? Who's what, Mr. Smith? Mr. T? Hannibal. Yeah, Hannibal Smith's often spoken line oh, in the gosh, TV to series The A Team. Didn't watch the I used to know that all the time. Now I'm feel like I don't know. I didn't even watch it, but I knew his line, Mr. T. I never even heard of. You know, I remember the show, but I never really watched. I it never either. watched it, but I think he had one line, and I think I used to know it. Well, how would you know it? Because he, it was on all the commercials. It's not like you can't touch this, but it was. It was like something like that, like make my day, or. No, not pity the fool, guys. Yeah, pity uh -oh. the fool. No, that's no. Mr. T. That's what I'm saying, Mr. T. Oh, no. Hannibal Smith. You said the A-Team. Yeah. What was character Hannibal Smith's often spoken line in the A-Team? Yes, pity you got it, Sean Sneed. What? Very close enough. Uh, I love it when a plan comes together. Really? Wow. Huh. I like I pitted food. Yeah, I know, but I, I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> of course I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what I sent you at the Bath and Body, those two chicks getting into it? <laughs> no. You sent me something? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to send you one more thing <laughs> because you sorry. never look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you? Did anyone see it today? It was on the news. They, they got. They thought about stuff at the Bath and Body. Oh my God! Over what? It's, over it's gone what viral. were they fighting over? 
I don't know what they fought over exactly, but there's it's gone viral. Really? Uh huh. And uh, ended up that there was like three or four of them in it. <laughs> so I sent it to you, and I go there. I go again. Oh gosh. <laughs> were, they, were, they, were they? Were they? Were they like? They weren't young kids. They were. No, no. Women. Women. <laughs> Give me that. They were. I mean, they. It was knocked down. Wow, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm just going to send it to you, Scooter. Could you do the look? <laughs> oh, say, Scooter. <laughs> Carolyn never does. <laughs> okay, now we're at past and present. In which month, this one will be hard, so. In which month in 44 B.C., did the assassination of Julius Caesar occur? Oh my gosh, this the year, there's no multiple choice. It's like how, if somebody knows this, I'm like gonna be like, what? Lori Colley says, send it to her to be the show watch. <laughs> <laughs> just, thank you, Lori, at least somebody will. Just oh put in Bath and Body. And um, bath and body brawl. That's all you got to put, and there'll be all kinds of feet come up. You should put it on your community page, Davida. Oh wow, a you bunch of them got it. Yeah. It's not... Put anything on your community page. I didn't know that. You guys are right, March. You're right. Wow. How did they know that? I can't believe people know that. What was I it? I can't either. What was it? Oh, March. The, the, March. the eyes of March. That's what it is. March 15th. Oh. Because oh. I was due for Raymond and I was due on March 15th and my obstetrician said the eyes of March. And Sharon Martin just said that. Beware the eyes of March. March. March oh, is that what that is? Yeah, the eyes of March. I yeah. never knew that. Uh, I did know that, but I forgot it again. I never knew that's what that meant. Me neither. Wow. And Kevin just said that she's up to 439k wow and ray was born on the 17th right 19. did you say that 19th yep okay now we're in uh science and nature Okay, where in the human body is the occipital bone located? Oh, I know that. I don't. I, I do too because I have the answer in front I of me. I won't shout it out though. While I'm cleaning my cricket boards. Cooby. <laughs> I don't have multiple choice or I would give them. Yes, guys, you're right. Head, skull, yes. Oh, skull, yep. Pam W, my 50th is on March 16th. Oh, yeah. Happy anniversary. No, her birthday. Oh, her. Her birthday, I think. Oh, her birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. I don't, Happy birthday. thought it was her 50th anniversary. <laughs> I'm really losing my mind tonight. Well, she said yeah, my Carolyn. 50th. Happy so. anniversary. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday? That's about how she checks her emails. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki was due on March 18th, and she wasn't born until the 25th. Okay. Um... People and places. Who created the character Hor 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 Horatio, Horatio Sands? Hornblower. Huh? Oh, nothing. I thought you were going to say Horatio Sands. <laughs> Who created the character Horatio Hornblower? I don't even know who that is. This is a smart crowd. I mean, I bet they've got it. Yeah, because probably somebody watches that show or whatever. It must be a sh on a show or something. So 
Natasha just said, did you know that babies are born without kneecaps? They're born without kneecaps? Yeah. Who said that? Um, Shar Shar? Really? I don't think so. Really? I, I'm not sure about that. Nope. Nobody's got it yet. Yeah, Jennifer just watched it. It's crazy, huh, Jennifer? What'd she watch? The um, Bath and Body. <laughs> oh. What's going on with that royal family scandal now? Oh my gosh. People are, it's going. They're wild. nuts. Pierce Bronson, he went nuts on them. That they're bashing the royal family. What is wrong with her for hours? A lot of people are on the side of the royals. Yeah. They're thinking that uh, she's kind of embellishing. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what it was called. The last time I was there, they were very cordial, and I didn't get into all that. Right. Um, Miss Mary said she's pretty sure she knows it, but um, I'll just give the answer. Um, C.S. Forrester was the creator of that character. See, some are hard, some are easy. Oh, my gosh, she's getting irritated. So what? Who cares about the royals? Not me. <laughs> A lot of people don't. I don't really know. Okay, I'll get here an easy one. Fun and games. What four suits are in an American standard deck of cards? Oh, that's so easy. Yep. Got to give an easy one now and then. Hi, Jane's mom. Sorry, late again, she says. Well, we're playing trivia. So... You can join right in. Hello, James Mom. Hello, James. I live in the UK. Oh, what are the four and time suits, to get guys? rid of the royal family, a tin of tarts and paint. The Hi. four suits, not the number of cards. Yep. Yep, you guys got it. Hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. <clears throat> yep. Shasha said she just Googled it, and they are not born with them. That's probably why their legs look so darn cute. <laughs> when they're newborns. Yeah. Okay. Um... Now the, next baby I, when the, now the next baby I see, I'm going to touch his knees. <laughs> see? What? what? The next baby I see, I'm going to touch his knees. <laughs> well, they have to develop at a certain age. You know, because they, they'll stand up when you hold How their hand. How could you not have a kneecap? I, I don't believe it. Well, well, I'm sure they're designed to start growing, obviously. But the cap probably comes a little bit later. Chewy gum TV. Develop later as toddlers. Yeah. Hi, Danny. Most of all trades in 1997 just told us. I never knew that. Babies are the bee's knees. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fun. Oh, wait, no, we already did that. Yeah, check uh, your baby's top. knees, Koopy. Ask her what, what it feels like by the baby's knees. Alma said, wake up, Mommy. I was up. I was cleaning my boards, Alma. What boards? My cricket boards. Huh? My cricket mats oh okay you to, one. what do you clean them with a baby clean. wipe and it gets all it gets them sticky again okay uh, uh 
um, Swan Song Records was a record label launched by which English rock band? Stacy's mom. Like every time I see Jane's mom, all I hear is that stupid Stacy's mom song. <laughs> Driving me crazy. What song is that? Stacy's mom. You know that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you got it. Led Zeppelin is right. I love Led Zeppelin. Hi, Mimi Forsythe. Love you too, Tracy Claus. Hi, Kim Swallows and Andy and Mary Tackett. Um, okay, TV and film. In the film Mission Impossible, what explosive is Tom Cruise's character holding when he says, red light, green light? Dynamite. WD's taking everything out of her craft room and purging. Are you? Said. Nope, he's not holding Austin Powers. I would start to purge and then I go, well, maybe I'll need that. Yeah. Nope, you guys aren't even close. Do you ever go in your craft room and find things you didn't even know you had? Yep. And you're like, oh my gosh. I <laughs> And it really makes me mad when I bought something thinking I didn't have it, and I look and I have it. Right. Yep. And you totally forgot that you had it, too. Yep. Nope. Nobody's getting it. Hi, Grace Stewart. She said, hi, all you gorgeous dolls. Hello there, Grace Stewart. TNT, Manatee nope. said. Nope. A lot of chewing gum. Really? Yep. Ooh. Yeah. When he said red light, green light? Yep. And it's a lot of chewing gum. I never watched it. I didn't watch it either, so. Uh, past and present. What toy featuring a Sesame Street character was the craze during the 1990s oh, I know. Christmas season. Yeah, I know. I won't say it because I know it. Got it. Tickle me, Elmo. Tracy Kloss, the answer for that explosive from Mission Impossible was uh, chew a lot of chewing gum. He said she'll be done in about a week, LOL. And that's said? not far from the truth if I was doing it. Who said? Debbie D. Oh, she'll be done in a week. I'll be done in about a week. Yeah, Elma thought it was the wand, the toy, the tickle me Elmo thing. What was the wand? Was that really a thing? I have no idea. <laughs> you remember you're dealing with Elma. It's probably something totally inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure I never know with Alma. Yeah, I know. I didn't really want to bring it up, but <laughs> <laughs> um, science and nature. What substance is used both in medication and as a flavor 
in tonic water and bitter lemon drinks. Oh, I know. It's something you can't have when you're pregnant. Elma, I think I know what you're talking about. That's why I didn't want to say it. Yeah, she guys got it. Yeah, she's laughing. Quinine. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you pretty well too, Elma. Notice I didn't say it right away when I thought <laughs> the first time. I just went right over it. <laughs> Quinine, that's right. Quinine. Um... <laughs> what are you making? I have to finish the rest of the flowers for my DIY. Oh, okay. People in places. What was Sylvester Stallone's first name at birth? I believe I know what it is. I love you too, Tracy Class. Hi, honey. <sighs> Yeah, I remember that, learning that high 61, that quinine was used as medicine during the Civil War. Oh, that's right, it was. Not Mark and not Rocky. Not Guido or Henry. Not Johnny Cash. Okay. Not Lewis. Bye, Shar Shar. Bye, Shar Shar. Not Ben. Not John. Not Steve. Is it Salvatore Sebastian? That's no. right, that was Salvatore. No. But... Not Don. Not Frank. Not Sly. Not Salvatore. Not Steve. His not son is uh, his son is Sebastian. Sebastian. Not Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry. Come on, guys. Not what does it begin me. with? Tell us what it begins with. An M. Not Mario. Nope. Not Harold. Michael. It is Michael. Yes. Wow. Michael. <laughs> All these <laughs> Oompa Loompa. John Stamos. Michael Stallone. I like that name, Stallone. Do you? Mm -hmm. And I also like the name Genevieve. <laughs> From the uh, crime family, the mob. Yeah. But I like the name. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The actual name. The sound of it, I should say. Okay. Okay, in fun and game category, in the game of Monopoly, how much do you collect from each player if it's your birthday? <clears throat> but that's, all, that, that's, that's only if you get one of those community chess cards. You just can't do it for your birthday. The birthday of St. Patrick's Day, Marky. Almost said, James Mom, oh no, please don't do that. Oh my gosh, look it up first. The magic wand. <laughs> you guys got it. Some of you got it right. It's ten dollars. Is it really just ten dollars? Yeah, yeah. That sucks. So, Larky, you're lucky, St. Patrick's Day. So is um, our little granddaughter. She'll be two years old on St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's Day. Okay, is that enough now? Is what enough? The trivia? trivia? I have no idea, Tracy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 
Julia you Jane. You talked to Nana Patty? Somebody said she's feeling better. I saw that. Did you hear from Nana Patty? Scooter? Uh, she was in the chat. Um, she said she was feeling better. Yeah, yeah. Alma says, we're just getting... <laughs> I'll end up. Okay. Um, I sure hope she doesn't use it on the kids. <laughs> oh. oh okay, rock and pop. Should I stay or should I go? Which is featured should in I the stay next or should I go? Sci fi drama, Stranger Things, was first released in 1981 by what English punk rock band? Kinks? Nope. The Clash? Yes. I met the it. Clash. That's what I meant to say. I met the Clash at the Slotesburg rest stop. That is right. Carolyn couldn't help herself. She had to <laughs> shout it out. Sorry. Yeah, I am laughing. Oh. <laughs> the Clash. Okay, TV and film. Uh... What famous Hollywood icon was born? Norma Jean Mortensen. Oh, I know. Oh, that's nice, Pam W. Your mom is going to be 70 on St. Patrick's Day. She just sent her a cheesecake to Florida. Oh, wow. You must be related to Lisa D. Marilyn Monroe. That's right. Okay, past and present. Um, in which year did Prince William marry Catherine Middleton? Nana Patty, I'm feeling better. Still coughing and wheezing pretty bad. Tired and laying around. Love y'all. Afro nasal spray is the best. Thanks, Carol Boyce. Oh, Carol Boyce. I'm right feeling now. better, Nana Patty. What's your OSATs? Your OSATs are still good? Not 2010. Good, good guess, though. Oh, wait a minute. Because that's right before Daisy got married. Oh. Um, what is it, 2011? It's 2011, that's right. Yeah. 2011. Uh, was signed it in June? June? It just says the year. I don't know. She says saturation is good at 98. Uh, science and nature. What do you call a number which is only divisible by one or itself? I know. I won't say it. Oh, I gotta say something, Alma. Alma, are you doing a like a frosting? Could you use lightweight spackle? She's making fake food. I don't know, but she said I'm working on a project and it cracked all over. It's ruined, and I use the regular spackle like you suggested. I'm so bummed. I don't use regular spackle. I use lightweight. Always lightweight. Uh, Prime is right. You guys got it. A bunch of you got it. Almost everyone has it. I wonder what she's making. I don't know. Okay, people and places. Mount. Mount. Airy Lodge. This Cusco. Oh, I'm sorry. Dang it. That's a brag. What were you making, Alma? Oh, she said, well, it's ruined. Always lightweight. It was a surprise. Aww. Oh, no. Aww. 
Well, if it's something that you are frosting or something, if it's cracked. Fill it in with the lightweight. Yeah, I mean, you could go over it, you know what I mean? If it's a frosting or something, you could go over it with um, the lightweight. But in every one of my videos, I stress that because I can't tell you how many people call and t or text and say, what did I do? And I go, did you do lightweight? No, I didn't think it would matter. No, it does matter. <laughs> because the regular will crack. In other words, Alma, she's saying you weren't paying close enough attention. Hi, hi, Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Well, that's a drag when you work on something like that. Do something. Oh, I hate that. Okay, you guys ready for people and places question? Sure. Mm -hmm. Um. What, which Arab country's flag features a sword in its design? I see you, Tracy Claus. Nope, not Iran. Good, good, uh, Good answer, though. Good answer. Yes. I That's a good see answer. Yep. Good answer. Saudi Arabia. That's right. Guys are good. You have some smart people in here. Uh, fun and games. In baseball, what is the term for the technique used when the batter loosely holds the bat in front of the plate mm -hmm. and intentionally taps the ball into play? Oh, easy. <laughs> Starts with a B. It ends with a T. Oh, stop. Sorry. She started. <laughs> I'm already in trouble with her. Please don't do that. <laughs> you guys all got it. It's bunt. Not punt, but bunt. That's right. Like the cake. Most everybody got it. Like the cake. Yep, yeah, but like a bunt cake. Like a bunt cake. A happy little bunt cake. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Nana Patty says, I'm doing better, but this wheezing is driving me to drink. LOL, cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink too much. Oh, dear. That, that, that is the worst when you have a cough. Tracy Kloss loves your singing, so would you sing for her, Carolyn? She loves my singing? Come on. Yes, she does. just be put on the spot like that. I don't know what to sing. Remember when Cindy on the Brady Bunch was, she was singing Home on the Range? They told her something and then, she, I don't know why she had to sing it, but she just went over there, they gave her money or something, and then she started singing Home, Home on the Range. Remember that? Nobody remember. No. She was such a little brat, but like, I don't know, they were trying to make her do something and she said no, and then they gave her a dollar or something. She started singing Home on the Range. Nobody remembers that? I don't. I don't remember that one. With her little lift? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Here's a story. A lovely, lovely lady. lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother in the fine curls. They were not really curls. 
No, they weren't, were they? No, they weren't. Real I was cruel. sad when Florence, Florence uh, Henderson died. They were a little bit snooty. I really don't like the way they treated Alice. Really? No, they didn't treat her very nice. I thought they liked Alice. She had to wear the the uniform, and she had to live in the. Yeah, I felt You know, she had to wear that all the time, even when they went out with her, and they, she would just wait on them. She they never let her sit down and eat dinner with them. After she served everything, she had to go in the kitchen and eat by herself, then clean up all the dishes. She had to eat by herself. Yeah, and then she had to wear those white waitress shoes <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> they put her in the dunk tank. They never treated her nice. <laughs> and then she ne could never have a relationship with Sam because she had to live at the house. She wasn't allowed to have company over. She had no but family. I think they probably got married. She had to stay there on their holidays and everything. And they never treated <laughs> her like one of the family. They treated her, you know, like that's the hired help. They made a complete distinction. That's true. She did always have to call them Mr. Mrs. Brady. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Brady. And she was older than them say, too, hey, Mike, so what's up? yeah, they, she was older than them too, so it must have really been like she was just felt like a failure in life. And then remember when her sister came and she didn't what? have to wear the uniform and she wore the track suit and she had them out jogging and everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was a cousin or something that looked exactly like her, so something stupid. <laughs> and then they took her on Hawaii too. But did she have to wear the uniform when she went to Hawaii too? I don't think she did. No, I don't think she did then. Uh uh. But she Actually, still. I think she wore a pantsuit. I mean, a, like a sweatsuit. But she still had to take care of everything. And like, really, Carol really couldn't do the stuff on her own. <laughs> right? She, all, all the kids were all old. She didn't have any babies, everybody was in school. So she just sat there all day. She didn't have a job or anything. You done in there, Alice? Okay. <laughs> Get the dinner on, okay, Alice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was just like, I don't know. She was more like a. What was she really doing? She was like a companion for Carol during the day. Is Kevin still our top chatter, by the way? Um, I'm sure he is. He was so far the freak ahead. I'll check it out in a second. You remember that bug collection they had above their bed? They had something that looked like a bug collection above their bed. It was so gross. Yeah, yeah. Who was that? I don't know. It looked like a bug collection. And they changed the girls' room. When they first had the girls' room, it was like these orange and pink and stuff flowers. and then, Or it was purple. Uh -huh. And then, then it was pink. And then they, they, they actually changed that room a lot. But they didn't change the boys' room a lot. But remember when Greg moved up in the uh, attic? Yeah. And yes. yeah, yes. and uh, he made that weird thing coming out of the box to scare someone. That mm -hmm. gave me the creeps. <laughs> out of a trunk, and he made he made the, something pop out of it. It's horrible. <laughs> and their their backyard was astroturf. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That bright orange for Micah counter in the kitchen. <laughs> and the avocado green appliances. And then they thought they were all snazzy with the brick oven in there, like the brick wall. That reminds the wall me, the, the people around here when we first moved here, they all have cleaning ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when um, they started to get to talking to me or welcoming all that um that she asked me do you have a cleaning lady <laughs> I said true matter I said no I don't have a cleaning lady I wouldn't want someone in here to be perfectly honest no with I you. wouldn't either well when I where I grew up everyone had my my best friend she had um housekeeper Wolleen I told you all the time she would drive us to the mall she would drive us all over. My mother, my mother was like me. I could never have somebody because I would drive them uh -huh. absolutely insane. What sponge did you use for that? Did you touch the yeah. toilet before you did that? <laughs> did you? I, I, my mother would say all the time, "Do you think it's that you know, like we couldn't have a class?" She's like, "I couldn't have one." Yeah, you know, I'm the same exact way because I would drive yeah. them insane. Well, 
Well, not only that, I wouldn't trust them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't trust them in a lot of ways. Well, and these people, the one next door to me at least, they stole from her. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what made you think they wouldn't? You know? Yeah, and I would clean before they come. I just, I just <laughs> cannot have yes, somebody clean too. my stuff. Like, um, I, I would clean it to the point that there was no point for them to come. <laughs> um, that's who I am. And then, I, then I know, the like, I would I be, be using that money for something. No. Yeah, but I would be so pissed too. Like, if they scratched my stove or something, or yep. I would be yep. so yep. pissed. I, I can get pissed with my own family members if they do something like that. If I had a cleaning lady and she, you know, scratched something or, you know, clean, I would just, I know I would be so pissed. So I just don't yeah, put myself, I don't get yeah. into that with people. No, I've never desired that whatsoever. It makes me anxious. It doesn't, people go, oh, it's so nice when the cleaning lady comes and, uh -uh. No, I'm so anxious. Like, what did you touch? Yeah, I'm not, yes. Ugh. Sorry. And I can't imagine sitting around while they're cleaning the house. Yeah, I would feel like really awkward. I would feel and so I would bigger. talk to them and make, you want coffee or something? I'm not good like that. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> I'd be doing stuff for them. Like, you want me to get that for you? <laughs> you tell her, just sit down, put your feet up. Sit down, let's watch this show. This is good. Come over here. Sit down. And look at this. It's, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, something I. <laughs> Sorry, Alma. I did put them away. I didn't think you guys would notice. <laughs> now it's chit chat time. <laughs> I would love to see you have a cleaning room, Carolyn. Oh, I know I couldn't. You would have her sitting there in your massage chair. <laughs> wanted to drink. You'd be vacuuming. <laughs> Here, I'll get that. Just, just look at this. Watch this, Sister Wives. You're not going to believe what happens. <laughs> I, you will we'll get that later. She'll be, she'll be like, I have to get this. We'll get it later. Just look at this. Get out, De Deborah Benson. Oh. Yeah, Benson. <laughs> we did a bunch of them. We'll do more later. I get uneasy when life, like if I'm in the in the family room and I hear Jimmy cleaning something in the kitchen. I have to go in there and, and help out or like do something. Like I'm not good with someone doing like something with um, not me doing it. Yeah, Leah Jane said I'm the cleaning. I'm the cleaning lady. A lot of people totally are uncomfortable. Totally comfortable. People are totally comfortable. All right. I couldn't be, I know me, I'd be sitting there thinking, what the heck am I doing? I'm not good at the hotel because I don't even want to see what the because oh, I watch either. them. I look at them and I'm like, they just came from the bathroom. Now they're touching the sheet. They didn't wash their hands. <laughs> they're on the, oh my gosh, what are they doing? That's all I'm thinking. I watch them yeah. and they go one for one dirty sheet and they ball it all up and they get it all over there. They throw it in the thing and they just go right to the clean sheets and right to the next room. Did, oh gosh, I, I'd have to not look. Oh, it drove me crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking like, oh, like, like let's see her wipe in the toilet and just go over and wipe this, the Ooh. sink things, you know? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, oh, I can't look. And I can't go barefoot on motel. Oh, or never. Hotel I, my or shoes, my have Crocs there. Oh, they might never leave my feet. Uh uh, I can't. No. And then I, I always wonder, who was murdered in here? <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I've I wonder those kind of things. I've got to like yeah. not look at that. I don't want to see them cleaning because I'm going to freak out the way they clean. <laughs> and then, like, if you don't know if they changed the toilet paper, if they just folded the edge, and like you could never use that because <laughs> they touched that to freaking fold it. So. <laughs> 
you got to pull that off a long way before you can use it. Well, I always pull it anyway, wherever I am. I always pull a long way. Yeah. Always. Ugh. Some people don't think about that. Sometimes I think they're happier. I do too. Yeah. I, I do. I do think there are happier that. people that don't even think about stuff like that. That don't have any anxiety. With I can't even imagine. We have like a whole ritual before. But, Everybody has to stand outside. I have to inspect the entire room. And then I'll either come out and go, we're not taking this room. What did you, we're not taking it. There was, uh, there was a hair on the sink. Oh. You know, oh. it's like, that's it. It wasn't clean properly. We're gone. We have to go get another room. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I go nuts. And the whole family knows. That stand wouldn't out. make me sick if there was a hair somewhere. In the, stand you know? out. Remember there was one in Caroline Connors? Was there? Yeah, on that tub. Oh. Oh, that big tub. No, yeah. wait, that was. Yeah, and I was like, Caroline, yeah. why don't you get a new room or something? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. oh, no, don't be silly. And she got a towel and she like, yee. And I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. She just grabbed it with the freaking towel. And I was like, mm, go wash your hands. <laughs> Don't touch me. Okay. Alma says you need a blue light. Oh no, I could never do that, Alma. Then oh, I would no, never. You, would, you'd I never stay there. If you ever put a blue light in there, there's nowhere in a hotel. Can you, imagine? you would see it all everywhere. You would. You would. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't be able. You'd sleep in your car. <laughs> and don't you sometimes when you get in the sheets, you think, did they really change these? Yes, I think that too. Yeah. Ah, these look good. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. I'm I'm busy today, and these look like they haven't even been slept in. They probably Stop had a right little kid in. in there. I'm just gonna fold those right back up. Just pull them tight. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like when the coffee makers are in the bathroom. I don't like the coffee makers at all. Because they don't uh -huh. clean those, those, dip, 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 for, ugh. Jimmy would have no problem making coffee. <laughs> and one time, like, uh, there was something on the sheets, and I don't know whether it was, like, the sheet was worn out. It was disgusting, or, like, the stain didn't come out, but it looked like a clear stain, and, mm -hmm. had, and I almost had, like, a panic attack, and stayed, and I was so pissed off, and they gave us, like, another room, they sent up like champagne and they gave us like two free nights, but I was still sickened because Ethan was in that bed, even though I had him shower and everything. I, I was just like, Ugh. Ugh. I can't take stuff like that. I'm like, and they're like, it's okay though. It's okay though. You know, one time there was like Carol's something. Gagging. Ugh. Like, I, I know you can't get anything, but, but it's just so gross. I'm just like, Ugh. 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 My daughter and my daughter would be just she'd be like, imagine what you're sitting on on the subway or the bus. They can't even see in the tweed seats, and you don't even know what you're yeah. sitting on. She like she's great like that. Some things wouldn't yeah. bother her at all, but then like the stupidest things that don't bother me bother her. <laughs> like she always thinks she's gonna die with something like, I accidentally put the gas on the stove and it, the pilot light wasn't lit, and I smell. Do you think I'm gonna die? I'm like, no, you shut it off, right? Yeah, but I feel a little woozy. You think I'm going to die? No, but she won't get upset if she, like, gets into the hotel sheets and they might have something on them. She's like, well, that's no big deal, no biggie. But she thinks she's going to die from the gas like that. It's so crazy. And and then I have absolutely no anxiety over the things she does. So it's crazy. But she doesn't care about dirt. She's like, oh, my gosh, you know how much blood and body fluids I must sit on every day? Oh, Oh. <laughs> Public transportation, airlines, come on. Mm. It's all over there. It's everywhere. You're not going to get anything <laughs> from it. It builds up your immunity. <laughs> but then she's worried about the gas leak, you know? It's like crazy. 
gas <laughs> leak or, or if she accidentally takes like uh, Tylenol in three hours instead of four. Oh my gosh. Oh, really? Yeah, that she has the weirdest anxiety and she does, I don't get her anxiety and she doesn't get mine. <laughs> She's like, you know, I go on the city, she takes the city bikes, you know, she'll, she goes, people probably pee all over those. <laughs> you know? She goes, what, the, uh, big, you're not going to get anything from that. <laughs> Whenever I think of New York and bikes, I think of um, John Kennedy. Mm -hmm. He always was so good looking riding that thing with his little hat. So I'll never forget. I said to her, what do you think that is on my bike? I hope it'll be it. And, and she goes, what are you worried about? Something in your bike, in your garage or up here? What the heck do you think is on it? She goes, down in the city. I have my bike down there. I'm sure the homeless people are peeing on it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh, she's like, well, they can't help it. You know, they're over there and there's probably, there's probably so much of that on there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't care. And by the way, you're going to hate that sauce. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. You're not going to like that sauce. I love it. She's like, We're Italian. Like I'm it. Italian, mom. That sauce is like nothing. Okay. No great shakes. <laughs> 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 I like have to go shopping again for a minute. Really? Yeah. Are you at the Are you at the auction? No. No. Well, I'm going to. Uh, I don't, now I forget what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Got to check my Gmail first. I think. Let me check my. Did you finish? <clears throat> did you finish watching it, Danielle? What? what? What is she watching? She watched that Megan and Harry. Oh, I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I got the gist of it. I don't know. There was something about Megan. She was smiling when she was saying the stuff. I know. Do you see what I mean where she... I said made 70? Because there's parts of it that I just... I don't know. What did you say about Maid 70? What? Remember last night when you said, so how much do you think is true? Oh, and I oh, said, oh, yeah, yeah, best. yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Best. I, thought she, I thought she was doing that just because it was Oprah and she wanted Oprah to get all pissed. Well, the thing is, Harry just didn't seem, I think he walks on eggshells to keep her happy. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of Harry, but I mean a little bit of it. But I think she she gave a little smile, like when she said the thing about the skin color. She gave a little smile. Mm -hmm. It looked like a little duper's delight or something. It looked like she was trying to set her off. Yeah. And I, I kind of feel like she's like, it's like a feather in her cap that she can get him away from there. Yep. Yeah, exactly. He likes Definitely me better. Bye-bye. Yes. He likes me better yeah. than that. He abdicated the throne for me, you know, like that kind of thing. Right. And that's yeah. how people, some people are feeling about it. Right. <clears throat> Bye. I hate you all. Right, mm -hmm. you know, the obvious but maybe, and maybe she could have been very jealous because Kate, you know, like the, he he didn't stand a chance in line for, right. right. But like my son will say, my son Michael always says, "What is with that queen? You think she would step down and be like, okay?" She's like, he's like, Charles is like, how old? Like, mom, what's going on here? You know, never gonna get a chance at this. <laughs> You know, he's like, she thinks she'd just step down for a little and bit. We're going like, to get a chance. Right? Because then it's just gonna probably, he's going to just die, probably. And then, you know, William will go right in. But Harry yeah, doesn't, right. you know, have a chance and no. heck at it. And she probably doesn't want to be around old Queen Kate, you know, and. Oh, right. You know, because, and it's probably yeah. like, oh, she, she's chopped liver. They're chopped liver, right? The redheaded stepchild. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. She probably feels like chopped liver. Her kid probably feels like chopped liver. And they're not, you know, 
It's going to be the ones that are there. Hey. So you she's wanting to get the heck out of there. acted so, I don't know, like, because he kept looking at her. It was almost like he just wanted to make sure he said the right things to keep her pleased. Yeah, she seems like a very high maintenance. Yeah. And I think she's like, how? I think she's like, good. I got away from them. <laughs> stupid and their stupid rules. I don't know. I don't really care for the royals at all, but she rubbed me a little bit the wrong way. Yeah, to me, Kate fits in perfectly mm -hmm. with what she'll have to be doing, you know? Right. And they do seem like they have a good marriage, and I hope they stay together forever. Who, Kate? And the... Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> this one, wasn't she opening up suitcases on the... On the uh deal like I mean she acts like she's royalty or so she was opening up suitcases <laughs> I mean I mean I mean she you know I mean I don't know she's I just thought she's sitting there really this air about her like yeah you know well I'm sure she has that now you know but why she's not royalty well she's she a commoner she's a commoner family. she's not she's not royalty though and now she's nothing. She has no title anymore, right? They stripped them all. No, all they that. don't have any title now. That's it. Bye bye. All, you know, you can't have it both idea. ways. That's oh, like I, I told my daughter. You know, they want all this security and all this stuff, but they walked away. And right. you know, we're, we're not going to, you know, do they come here and we're going to flip the bill for that? Right. Well, you know, that they can stay there if they want that. You can't have it both ways. I know Tracy Claus. I, I liked uh, Diana. I did like Diana. Yeah, I like Diana more down too. To earth. Yeah, she. Th that's what I'm saying. Diana, this one is no Diana. Oh gosh, no! Oh no. heavens, no! Not at all. No. I think people are way too hard on her, though. Really? No. I, uh, I do. I do. I, I don't know. I think she's very snooty and very snobbish, and I and I truly believe she's like so glad that she separated him from everybody. I kind of think she feels that way too. I do. Yeah, I do. I just never paid that much attention to her, really. It's almost like she was. She wasn't going to be the queen. She wasn't, you know, who Kate was. So she had to get attention some way, and she was going to get the yep. attention that she drew him away, and she messed up their lives. Like it was almost well, like a little she thing. She wants to be back here so she can do what she wants. Yeah. She didn't like being in that situation. Right, and and for never to be always to be second best. Right. Right. They even Kevin Leonard said Megan is controlling control. Harry, and it does seem that way when you watch them. Just the, and I'm talking just body language. Right now, you know, I was just watching how he would look at her and how she would look at him, and I don't know. That's just the vibe I got. He obviously loves her though, or he wouldn't have went through. Oh with yeah. Her. No. Yeah, for sure. Yes. It's. Obviously, he now because he wanted to be here. Well, he might not. He might. She might have put an ultimatum. Maybe he just wants to be by his son. Maybe she said, "I'm going to leave. I'm going to go over there, and this is it. I'm going to kill myself. I'll go and spread all these rumors about you." You don't know. That's because yeah. he loves her so. They don't look. He doesn't look so in love with. They don't look so in love with each other. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think he's very, it's very standoffish for me. Even when they were talking about their. Um, I didn't How, watch this interview though. Are you just saying oh, you this didn't? Now? Even when oh, they were got engaged, even when they got engaged, it was very stuffy. Like, oh, we were roasting a chicken. Like, it wasn't like he wasn't like gushing in love with her. I hadn't seen it for either because one of them. I think. He's supposed to act. He's supposed to be that way. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, I thought he, he seemed like he was in love. With I her. don't think he is. You need to watch the um, interview though, and just I watch his body language. I'll have to um, maybe watch some clips of it. Did you guys know that 440 pound with the, that a meteor exploded over Vermont with the force of 440 pounds of TNT? No. Yeah, Sunday night. Oh my gosh. Yep. Where are you watching it, Danielle? Because I didn't see the whole thing. I only saw little parts of it. I just saw when she got Oprah all worked up. 
And you know, <clears throat> you know, Oprah's taking that. <gasps> oh yeah. <gasps> Who said that? <gasps> yeah. Who yeah. said that? I, I, and they have it on. T- they have it on a tick. They have it on a TikTok, where they where they keep going in on that because that was yeah. <clears throat> And, yeah, and I that's, saw that part. And that's when she had the little smile. Yeah. That's that's when I was like, hmm, she's taking a lot of pleasure in that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I agree there. And then they said it wasn't the grandmother or the grandfather. No, I saw an article. So who does that leave? Like, Charles and Camilla oh, or yeah. William and Kate? He does, but him and his brother are estranged, which is very sad. Yeah. You know, and his dad, he so said, he I'm that they are estranged? Are yeah, they yeah. estranged for real? Or Yes. Are they? Yes. Because I know they were, supposedly were, but I didn't know if that was rumors <clears throat> or, you know. I want to go look for that meteor, some pieces of the meteor. What meteor? That I said went over to Vermont last night. Every th- time I hear Vermont, I think of White Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yep. Snow, snow, snow. Remember when they're in the yep. train? It won't be long. I love that. Movie. I'm very sure. Megan and I know was you don't suicidal like it right asking for don't help. Like and was refused yeah do you believe it grace what do you mean when she was refused i didn't see that part what do you refused by who they said that she was refused help when she was um, contemplating suicide who? refused help who by who Megan. but Megan. did she she didn't say by who right no i don't oh, think so she said she contemplated suicide I'm finding a lot said. of I'm finding a lot of problems with her story. She didn't bring any receipts. Oh. I didn't see. I didn't know all that. She had no receipts. <clears throat> Talking a lot I guarantee of junk. you they'll show it again in, in its entirety. Yeah. Yeah, see, Danielle even said she's smirking. Yeah, she's smirking. She's no Diana, Patricia. No, not by a long shot. I mean, that's apples to oranges. She's not believable to me, I'm just (laughs) saying. Did you see what Alma put? What? Just read it. Oh, Alma. How far, what oh t- yeah, you can see it in its entirety on demand on CBS, you guys. What, what, where this, is it? Where yeah, is, where is, where is, have commercials. When is Alma's thing? Uh, <laughs> oh, deduct as much as she can? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're on a calculator so that are trying to deduct your taxes. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love our Alma. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter, you could write in your wardrobe and stuff. Uh, wardrobe, I'm on a live show at night. I need to get that. Um, I'm showing my trolls. I can write them off. Um, so I'm showing them on the show. <laughs> Let's see what else. Yes, I'm showing that. My mini brands. <laughs> Wow, I can write off a fortune. <laughs> can, can write off that spot of the kitchen that I'm in is my office space on there. <laughs> Dave, we're getting a lot back. <laughs> those dolls, oh did I show God. those dolls? I did show those dolls. Write those off, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Put in my wardrobe allowance, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> my gas and my mileage back and forth to the stores. <laughs> 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 when 
when I was on location at the river. <laughs> and then we had those extra Shelly and stuff, and we had to get extra food <laughs> to feed the staff. <laughs> are so funny. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Who twisted your words, Patricia? Everybody's words get twisted. Mine always get twisted, Patricia. Everyone? What what words got twisted? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just consoling her that mine are always twisted. Definitely Patricia happens all the time. <clears throat> I'm not yeah, they sure. called it the firm what they who they would talk to. And there was another word too she called them. The firm and the firm. The was it institution? I can't remember. I I, I kind of think it was the institution. My diamond paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Write those off. <laughs> Show those. Boy, if only I could. I had Lexi there. I had Lexi. I had to get her some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she was and opening her dogs. <sighs> then all the startup on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> my new my new business expenses, that phone, that yep, that's for work. <laughs> Film my videos. <laughs> My internet. <laughs> if I could, um, we're in the red, if Dave. Could, if I could deduct those mini brands, yeah. boy, oh my gosh, those are my supplies. <laughs> All of my the cases my for those brands for my long videos. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The potato chips I had to buy for my brother that we put in the video. <laughs> that was filmed on the YouTube video of that famous YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> All there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Clothes I had to buy for the flying squirrel drip. <laughs> Eating at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> the toys I brought at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the wear and tear on Caroline's car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the haircut I had to have on site in the hotel room. <laughs> Did you all sit in the bathroom while Carolyn was cutting her hair? No, I, I, well, well it was a big, it was, it wasn't really the bathroom part of it. Yeah, the tub it was the kind bathroom. of in like a alcove. Yeah. And it had a huge uh, tub there, right? Right. And then the, there was that. a lot, there was a lot of space around it. And then Scooter got like a desk chair and rolled it in there and she cut her hair in there. <laughs> I got my hair cut in the park. Oh, that's location at the park. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't want to do that here. All right. Oh, she wouldn't stop. I would change the subject every two minutes and she would not stop. She kept bringing it back up. Don't you really want to get a haircut? Come on. It'll, you'll feel so much better. No, Scooter, look at that lighthouse. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it is cute. Oh, that's so nice. Go get a picture of it. How about that hair? I really want you to get your hair cut. I don't know, Scooter. Maybe in a little bit. I think Jimmy's got to feed Rocky and stuff. Three's are good. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, but what about your hair? I'm not going to leave until we get your hair done. It'll look so cute. She knows just how to do it. I've been talking to her. Oh, my gosh. 
I knew you would feel better, and you did. She wasn't going to stop. And then, here, why don't you open your present? Okay, but then we'll do your hair, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, Wanna, was she fan Ice cream you? scooter? Yeah, later. Let's do your hair first. <laughs> Carolyn, was she fangirling you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think she was. <laughs> I think she did. Like, what, what do you mean, Davida? You know, where you're like, uh, what's a better word to use? Um, kind of awestruck when you met her, like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was probably like, oh my gosh, is that really that lady? You know what I'm saying? Like when you see someone, but then you really see them and you're going to touch their flesh. <laughs> Touch their flesh. Now that talk, that sounds a little risque, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but <laughs> when you're going to hug them, <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> well, I'm not hearing anything from the peanut gallery. <laughs> they were late. They were so late and Scooter was so pissed. Oh. Right? She's like, I don't know where she is. We got to get going. And they were you mean late. you? No, they were about an hour late. Oh, oh. Because we had checked in. We got there. We checked in. Remember, we even stopped at Tractor Supply to get the baby bottle for the squirrel. And um, checked into the hotel. Checked out our whole room. And then went down to the lobby. And Luke is like, is that them outside? And I'm like, I don't know. Is that a Jeep? He's like, that's a Jeep. I'm like, I think that's them. <coughs> <laughs> Alma said that Scooter probably picked up some of Carolyn's hair and put it in a locket. They said no. They did. They said they said that they said that she was going to take it. So she kept going like this. Look, I'm not taking the hair. I'm shaking it out onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we're fangirling. <laughs> And Scooter's probably like, yeah, but you didn't see this little lock that I put over here. <laughs> That's on the troll doll that I've added to the troll's hair. You know what? And Scooter probably could make a wig with your hair because if she can make clothes with flesh. With skin. Skin. She can make a wig with your hair. Could you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that night. I'll never forget it. She made a and big deal. She goes, oh, look, Carolyn, I'm shaking the hair. I'm not taking it. <laughs> what if I really took it? Yeah. And then... The troll doll really had a big little thing little of brown hair. hair. <laughs> 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 He'd be like, what, what in the heck is that? Huh? I just dyed my hair. <laughs> oh, my oh, my gosh. Kevin Leonard. So I guess Davida will need a fainting couch if she meets you. <laughs> fainting couch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys. But did you really keep that that you made for your doll? What was that for again? Skin. She put From skin your on skin. It. Yeah, it was a sunburn that was peeling. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I mean, when you made it, what was it for? For the doll. For her little doll, I think, wasn't it? You put it on oh, your little doll. She put oh, it on her little doll that didn't have clothes. Yeah. Oh. What? It's natural, organic. Yeah, it sure is. I'm just thinking about peeling it off your body to get on the doll. Came it was just on the leg. Oh, I hey. hate that because sometimes it hurts. It usually feels pretty <laughs> satisfying when you pull that off. Oh, 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 I'm weak. <laughs> oh, oh. You know how Sir Claus says, like, <laughs> oh, oh, it's like loose teeth. When I went over, Everly's bottom tooth is getting loose. And Daisha goes, show. And because she knows I can't stand it. And oh, I go, really? Daisha, no. So she starts wiggling her tooth. And I said, oh, God, I'm going to faint. Wait, I had to sit back. <laughs> Stuff like that makes me weak. I have to say, I, 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 I soaked my feet in the Listerine, like somebody said. Uh-huh. And then I, like, used, I, oh. um, 
the, oh God, are you the peeling skin erupting, off? and on my heels are like almost, almost all the way done. Really? I think like one more soak and they'll be really. really are good. you soaking them right now? No, not yet. So wait a minute. What did you put in your? Well, first I bath? used. Okay, it's been a process. I I used that bag bomb. Somebody said, and I used that like okay. a few times, and then I soaked them, and then I didn't use anything, <laughs> and then just recently. I soaked them in the Listerine, and then what I kind? use like and you know one of those uh, spongy things that exfoliates after I soak them for a while, and now I think it's almost like one more time, and they're going to be good to go. Well, what kind of Listerine? Just uh, it was like a Equate brand Listerine. White brand? The Equate, you know, like the uh, Faker brand. Oh. The Equate one. Yeah. Yeah, the that, equivalent too. Yeah, yeah, you know, just the one same ingredients as Listerine, and the per, I have like a wintergreen kind of one. It was blue. Oh, okay. And then I just put but it. But it in. really does work. It really did work. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go buy a case. Yeah. <laughs> case. No, just <laughs> get some bag bomb. I would say put the bag. Do you have bag bomb? No. Okay, get a little bag bomb. Put it on your. Um, heels like a couple nights in a row with socks on and then soak your feet in the Listerine all right and get one of like a like get one of those pumice things yeah and then after you take your feet right out of that hot water make sure just go to town on them go to town go to town on all right them. all right and what kind of bath bomb bag bomb bag bomb. it's that green stuff in the here, right here, this. Bag bomb, where'd you get it? This I bought on Amazon, but I think you can get it in any drugstore. Okay, bag bomb, huh, yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah, who Tracy W told me about it. Huh, mm -hmm. speaking of, have you talked to She's her? She's back, it smells good. Well, I know she was in chat, but. You know what it smells I like? Almost what? like uh, saddle soap or something, or like a saddle, like an English saddle. You know what? I wonder if they use that on horses. They do. Okay. I love the smell of it. It reminds me of horses. Yeah. Hi, Auntie Cuckoo. Hey, Did Belle. Did Tavita get a cheese grater from Big Lots, she said. <laughs> If my Antimone. kids were here, they'd be cracking up. CVS has it. She, I think she's talking about this. You mean Davida, right? Oh, the bag bomb. They yeah. have it at CVS. That's what that's what uh, Aunt Timon Lane said. Oh, good. Yeah. You wouldn't need the lotions and the that. other stuff. So you would just put that on first and for a few nights and put socks on and then yeah. you started the Listerine process. Yeah, are you talking about this Kubi? Is that what you said Alma needs? Mm -hmm. Is this what you said Kubi? Are you talking about this? Yeah, I'm talking about that. No, but Kubi said something like to Alma, Alma, that's what you need. You won't need anything else. Foot bag, she's saying. What are you saying? I used that thing. James mom Ooh, said, you, you know, that's thing. really for cows. Ooh, she used the thing with the blade. Oh, what? somebody, somebody showed that to me last night or the day before. What? And I said, that looks scary. And she's like, it's not scary. What do you do with the blade? Oh, it was like this thing. And it was round. She said, you get it at Sally's beauty supply. It was like, look like a little spoon, but it has like a little mm. like thing. And she said, like you scrape it and it, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, I'm going to faint. Wait, oh, I'm getting weak. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. There was Wait, somebody that cut off his heels on, on <clears throat> YouTube, and they were bleeding. Oh. Did you guys see that when the guy cut off his heels? Dear God, no. He cut Wait it off minute. with a oh. big butcher knife. Oh, dear Lord, I can't take yeah, it. Yeah, I, oh. I made me sick. It was blood everywhere. Oh, no. I, no. He, he cut off his heel? Yeah, I'll show you what, I'll show you what somebody showed me, and... You know, she said, oh, no. she said, trust me. I would like to trust her, but it looked kind oh, of scary. I'm going down quick. Uh. Okay. 
Oh, it sounds horrible. Da, 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 Hi, Sleeping da, Beauty. Da, da. Patricia said, just get a pedicure. <laughs> no, I don't want somebody touching my feet, and I don't want to be putting my feet in stuff. You're talking to germaphobes. Oh. Trying to find out what what it looked like. Is this thing that looked like mm, a spoon? Why did he cut off his heel? Oh, it was horrible. Did any of you see it? Oh. Tell me if tell me watch yeah. the chat and tell me if anybody that. saw that person cut off their heel. It's disgusting. Mm. It's the, it was the grossest thing I ever saw. And YouTube will leave something like that on. But, um, ugh, yuck. But, I mean, did he think it was going to help, help something? Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it no matter what. But, I mean. I guess he was tired of the dry skin on his feet and he took the thing and he chopped it off. Ooh. And you're sure he didn't have fake blood and he was just messing around? No, it was real. It was on, like, a, a white tub and there was blood all over the place. Uh -oh. Did anybody see it? Kevin Leonard probably saw it, right? He watches all the drama. Probably. Oh. Kevin Leonard, did you see that? <clears throat> I can't find the one that she had here. Let me see. It was like it was like this spoon thing. It had a tiny little Grace said, just stick your feet in the tub with a bunch of fish. Who said that? Grace Stewart. Oh. <laughs> you just see Carolyn sitting there getting her feet. I'm just envisioning what you would be like. Where? At a salon? Getting your feet done. Oh no, I couldn't have somebody touching my feet like that. Ugh. Some stranger? No. I can, I can see you going, ooh, ah, don't do that. Ugh. Is that clean? That doesn't look clean. <laughs> Yuck. And now I'm thinking of Felix Unger from The Odd Couple. How do you sanitize those things? <laughs> Linda Yuri said, now we can't walk. That guy. <clears throat> hmm. There's also another one. Let me see something. But yeah. Did, did, no, did anybody in the chat see that? Mm -mm. Nobody saw that guy p cut off his heel? Mm -mm. Seriously? Mm -mm. I didn't. I don't know where you guys have been. It was the most horrendous thing. I, I can't get it out of my head. How long ago did you watch it? Oh, about a year ago. So gross. So gross. Disgusting. Grace Stewart said... My friend used a small sander on my feet. My heels were as smooth as a baby's butt, but I couldn't hardly walk. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I you had that little it. sander too, but... <laughs> Danielle said she put coconut oil on hers with socks and it's like magic. I don't know, I don't believe that. I don't think maybe yours wasn't your yours were not that rough. Mine got like, I don't know, so dry. 
now they're nice. I have to go on like what time that I'm looking for them. I'm just trying to see if I see that tool because things. I mean copy and paste. You know how to copy and paste. Really? I do. I've done it before and you know in the chat. Yeah. I'm trying to do something else and it's only letting me like copy one word and I have to have the full link to join. Just pull it. When it's when that one word's there you take your finger with your little tool and you pull it over the whole part. Yeah, it's gonna be like a little like. Yeah, but see, it's only. Yeah, like, that. What? What do you mean? Like that. How did? What do you mean? How did you? you um, oh, that thing. Yeah. So I just and then I hit copy. Yeah. Copy. Thank you. I say I always want. So you just pull those little teardrop looking things. Right, yeah. Oh, see, nobody ever showed me that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Lexi. Luke showed me something the other day. Now I know how to hang up the phone because my phone used to disappear in my phone thing. I didn't know how to hang up the phone. He just showed me the other day. I don't know where these kids <clears throat> learn this stuff, but they do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying it. It's a local auction, you know, that I signed up for. Yeah. And, uh, you know, to get emails and that. Right. And what are you and finding? Nothing yet. Hmm. Bet you did. They just want, you know, they want to verify that I really joined them. You got your nails done, huh? Who? Scooter. Scooter. No. You didn't? You can write that no. off. You can write your nails off. I never got Oh, I thought you them. did. No. Write them off. You did. Why are you thinking I got them done? Yeah, now she said it, so you did. It looked like you did to me. Now you're talking about them like uh, they said. Well, now you can write it off because you talked about it. Is that the, the trolls say <laughs> that? Remember anything you talk about, you can write it off. You're sneaky. <laughs> you're sneaky. Then that was been said. That yet that's the, that we're trying to be sneaky. That, that's what anything we talk about, we write right off. That's that's their 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 agenda. Anything you talk about, you can write off. But wow. We, yeah, that's what they said. Those smart trolls. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start talking about stuff. I know, right? Anything you talked about your house to be to write it off. Write it thing. off. Write that house. Doesn't right matter. Off. Write the whole thing off. All your taxes, everything. <laughs> Just write it all off because you talked about it. And say that some troll on YouTube told you you could. Wow. <laughs> I love these people that know nothing and just say anything. Okay. Uh, and what did I do with my... Um, my you didn't look at any more of that movie, did you? Which, I, I couldn't watch that yet. I got to watch You're that with You're Jimmy. not gonna watch it. Gotta watch it with Jimmy. You're gonna watch it with Jimmy? Yeah. Then he's gonna make me watch it over again, and I can't. Uh, I'll watch it with him, because then I can ask him what happened. Oh, you're missing out. Okay. Got my bad bomb on. Can't believe it's going to be supposedly 67 here I'm, tomorrow. Where? How much? 67. Wow. I, ho I wonder what it's going to be here. I want to take a walk oh. so freaking bad. It was 66 today. Really? Yeah. Oh, we and didn't, we didn't tomorrow, have that today. <laughs> we didn't get that yet. <laughs> For three days in a row, we're supposed to be in the 60s. Night, Jen H. Good night, Jen H. Good yeah. night, Jen H. Good night, Jen H. Good night, Jen H. We didn't get that yet. Maybe you will tomorrow or this week. 
Tracy Maybe. Claus asks, hey, can you guys remember teaching me what a troll is? LOL. Yeah, I, I taught a lot of people what a troll was. And they're not even good trolls. Are you a good troll or a bad troll? Yeah. <laughs> it was too hot here today. Really, Kubi? 86. Wow. My daughter uses coconut oil and baking soda as a scrub. Oh, exciting. It's supposed to be windy here tomorrow. 55 in PA, so that's probably what it's going to be for me, like 50. Which will, 50 will feel like wonderful. It 50, will. 50 degrees. It will. It, it's so funny, isn't it? How like when the weather changes, like you're like 50, yeah. we don't need a jab. But then when it starts getting cold and it's 50, you're like, oh, it's yeah. freezing. It's yeah. 50. It's so yeah. subjective, right? Yes. Yeah. It's so weird. What's it out? 50. Yeah. Definitely. I know. <laughs> so every year and every year I say the same thing. I'm like, so crazy. Yes. It was crazy. Oh my goodness. Good night, Jen H. You Good night, so Jen tomorrow, granddaughter. Oh, that's sweet. You're, you're going to do what now? You're tomorrow I've got to go on a call and we've got to um, hammer down the uh, the recipe thing, what we're going to do for the sauce. Okay. Hammer time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> I'm going to find out what Lisa's really easy thing is. I got an easier thing. And I didn't ask Lisa about the rouse, if she knew what that was, the rouse. Who did? I didn't ask Lisa. I didn't get to ask Lisa. And I want to see oh. if I need to text Lisa because she's not answering me about the time that we're supposed to call. Mm -hmm. And she has to go on a conference call. And I told her. And ask her again. Lexi's off school tomorrow. That's why she's still up. In case anybody was wondering, they're going to call CPS on you. <laughs> she's real. eighteen now. You're going real life, Scooter. <laughs> she's eighteen. Okay. Bad grandmother. And did you say this coming Sunday is when you're getting together? Sunday. We're not going to get together. We're going to do it cooking on live. Right, right. That's what I mean. Yeah. You're welcome, Aunt Mom. Cooking with our special guest on live. That'll be nice. Now, why isn't Lisa mm -hmm. answering? Because she should be up right now, right? Oh, time to get up for the yeah, day. For, yeah, for sure she should. She should yes. tell me. It's four o'clock there. It's four o'clock, Lisa. Get the freak up. Because you said you always get up at four. Come on, Lisa. Answer, Lisa. Unless my baby does the hanky pink. You know, you never know. <laughs> Stop that. Wouldn't that be something to call and ruin the house? Oh, boy. Sorry about that, guys. I'll just hang up. Go ahead. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. What do you find in Scooter? So far, not a lot of anything that I'm interested in. Mm. How about you? I didn't find anything. I'm not looking at anything. You're almost, you're getting sleepy, Linda Uribe. Oh boy. Me and Linda are in the same time zone and Alma, my little Alma, staying nice and warm in her house. But I didn't know your stores were open so late. Alma says Ross is open till like 12 o'clock. Is that true? That's I don't know. Hi, Bella I Mac. Surprised at 12. So look at Bella Mac. Our she stores goes, do stay open. Look at Bella Mac said. Look at Bella Mac said. 
I'm not on there. What'd she say? She said, so I guess, uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, you don't know how many times we'll go back and forth when you're, um, you know, talking and we'll go, okay, now she's rubbing her neck. She's looking around. She's going cross-eyed. So, okay. Anyway, and then I'll start counting down. <laughs> We go on and on. Oh my God. Because you're doing it right now. See how you do? And then you kind of smile and it's like, okay, I'm going to have to say it. I'm going to go now. All right. Okay. Anyway. When do I just say it? Okay. All right. Here we go. All righty. Yeah. Kevin's like, all righty okay. then. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Here we are. Here we so. go, kids. It's going to be quick. Oh Ready? Say, say your good nights because she's not going to give you time. <laughs> They're laughing. Oh, anyway. Um, but no, anyway. really, anyway, because I have to get on that yeah. call and I have to get all that anyway. stuff and I have to get I have to get up early because yeah. i got to get Lisa on board and because otherwise she runs out and says, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, yeah, but. Even Kevin Leonard, all righty then. Anyway. Um, <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Love you Thank guys. Thank the moderators. Love you guys. Love Prayers you. for all that need them. Hope you feel better, Nana Patty. Better today than tomorrow than today. And everybody else that's not feeling well. Bye, everybody. Thank you. And Bye. she's really not going to go to bed. She's going to go in her chair. Well, I am going to go in my chair for just a couple of sessions. <laughs> yeah, she just has to unwind. I have to unwind. But goodbye. Right, love, you love you guys. Bye.